Oh, is there a Discord mod in here? The world may never know. guys excited because i know i am you did a dumb and got hacked in discord yeah yeah uh that happens uh what was your we had like seven people hacked like the past week good good them bands oh what was the uh what was the discord name All right there, productions, consider yourself unbanned. Yeah, we had a note there that your account got hacked, so. Understandable, understandable. Use your Discord exclusive for getting notified the stream is live. If you've been hacked, you wouldn't know. Oh, no. Well, now you know. Move from YT, three out of interruptions, 15 minutes, bit much. Hey, you know, understandable. The, the joy of YouTube, though, is that it, uh, it doesn't actually interrupt. Well, I mean, technically it does. But you still get to see all the content. You don't, you don't miss anything. In the space of the random... Yeah, we're going to do one random dive, and then we'll, uh, we'll open, it up to the, open it up to chat to come and join. Time to speed run homework. Homework. Now that's some good motivation. Oh God, we're not winning this defense. Why are you guys like this? Fight harder. Breaks on YouTube make you no longer live, but I pause the stream so you can catch up. Yes, exactly. But wait, yes. But wait. All right. So let's see. We are doing a retrieve valuable mission data. This is a forty-minute uh, with no modifiers. All right, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna run. Eh. I guess I run five hundred. I don't like five hundreds that much, but. Hmm. Indiscriminate bombardment. I have considered indiscriminate bombardment and largely denied. It largely ignored it. It was considered and categorically denied. Hello there, Hawklight. Welcome in. When I went, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Buff Damar is solid. It does feel solid. It does feel very solid. Let's see if we can't save these guys. New Diligence CS is also in a decent spot. It's probably fine. I didn't... I didn't like it too much still. Hello there, CF Racing. How are you doing today? 
I didn't like it too much. Like, it's, it's, it's okay. The reason I didn't like it is because uh, it just lacks general DPS and ability to solve problems. In terms of DMR, you'll find here that just the Dominator is effective at doing the same thing. Like, there's a headshot from across the way. The Dominator just does more damage, better at being... It's, it's better stat line for a DMR. It just doesn't have the scope of a DMR. And has a shotgun level bullet trajectory, uh, travel time. Dominator is quite strong. I don't know why they buffed the Dominator, man. That sucker, this guy did not need to be buffed. He was already like the number two slot for bots and like top-ish tier for bugs. So that is, is very good. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's going to be difficult to make me want to put the Dominator down. Like at the moment, Dominator is Scorcher, top is tier right now. Only reason I'm not running Scorcher is because I'm, is I'm running Auto Cannon recently, because I find it difficult to carry teams without the Auto Cannon. Um, specifically, teams. That, specifically, it's the new creatures that have been added. Um, the new creatures, ah, uh, very powerful, very effective at wiping all the teams off the face of the earth, off the face of you know Super Earth, and. Um, I don't know how to save people fast enough to keep them alive without the auto cannon. So I'm using the auto cannon. And that's that's what's going on here. It's like the the new airships, the new gunships come chasing us down. And uh they I I swear if I'm not running the auto cannon, they kill 10 plus hell divers before I can before I can def come in to clear them out. It's disgusting. It's, it's really just disgusting. <clears throat> People who are ready for complaining that Dom was bad. You know, I'm gonna be honest. The developers, as much as they've, uh, they've done a great job of following uh, player like feedback, or at least reacting to it and responding to it, I haven't seen a whole lot of evidence that developers have just done what the players have said. It's like, even the, it, it doesn't, like, it doesn't reek of, oh, hey, the developers are doing, doing what the players are requesting. No, the developers are doing their own thing, and it just so happens to be similar to what the players are requesting. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if Reddit or any other comments had anything to do with the Dominator buffs. It's like the whole sh uh, slugger nerf came about because the slugger was the best sniper weapon in the game, which was true. It was by far the best sniper weapon in the game, which is why I used it. Um, so I don't. They buffed the dominator, but I don't know why they buffed the dominator. I haven't, I haven't heard from that. I haven't, I haven't heard from them yet on that. I don't think it was just a pick rate issue. Alright, that's a rocket. Alright, the dude with the rocket, I don't know where it is, but it's a problem. I'm gonna have to change position here, I think. Let's reload this. Dab in the way to blow it up, because there's a dude with a rocket launcher just hanging out back there. And I don't know where he is. But he's a problem. He's just taking out all of my cover. That's what he's doing. Let's see if I can find this dude. There he is. Excuse me, sir. Something just hit me from behind and nearly killed me. I'm in danger. Okay. In the jammer, oh, because I blew it up. That's why. 
you shot the ground. I got launched forward into the, uh, into, like, I got launched this way. I didn't dive this way, I got launched this way. So I don't know, something exploded behind me. Which happens sometimes. Uh, can they auto cannon blow up the dropships? Or is this the new enemy air types that can destroy? I think it's technically capable of blowing up the dropships if you hit it in a specific spot. But I don't know. I, I haven't tried. At least, let me rephrase. I haven't tried enough to make it successfully happen. Um, that's that's a thing. When in the anti-material rifle and supply pack. But it is really not good against the dropship and the gunship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the reason I'm not running it right now. Because I find that the gunships, the new gunships, are strong enough that if I do not solo them myself, then the entire team wipes stupidly fast. Does not mech still blow itself up if you look right and fire rockets? No, because you can't look right while firing rockets anymore. Um... Which is like the worst case scenario and is kind of half the reason people aren't running it anymore because you just can't fire rockets. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't self-destruct anymore, which is, you know, a good start. Alright, uh, let's see. Got a C for artillery here. Reload this. Grab this. Um, I'm gonna take these guys, but only because they're in the way. Uh, there's just a chance that I died there. It was a risk I was willing to take, but it was certainly a risk. All right. <clears throat> you would rather a self-destructive mech that can aim the rockets. Me too, but. I mean, I run bots most of the time anyways, so mech's not really a major deal. Uh, also, they changed all the artillery, uh, all the Seaf artillery colors again. Focus on longer one shot you. Yes. Yes. That is true. Which is nice. Uh, still running light armor. And it, do it does mean that the mech... Do I even want to calm down over here? It does mean the mech is more usable now. Uh, so it's not just a mistake. Why is the mini nuke blue now? I don't know. Like, I, I don't really mind one way or another about the colors. It, it's just... It seems strange. It is counterintuitive to me that the mini nuke is blue. Uh, but... Um, wait. This mini nuke is not blue. All right, so that's just not, that's just not okay. Um, first was static field. All right, so I tried to pick up the mini nuke. Apparently I picked up static field. Which is, you know, fine. Uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, all right. First is static field. Grab the wrong shell, yes. It happens sometimes. Static field, explosive, explosive, nuke. And game crashed. Wow. Uh, game took out my audio too. At least for a moment. Rip the dream. I'm guessing there was something related to the servers there because I wasn't the first one to drop. I was the second player to crash out. Patches introduce a new bug, so it would seem. So it would seem. We still blame Comcast. You could certainly try. As we jump right in, back into it. Hoist might have been the first to crash. Solid, maybe. Certainly a solid, maybe. Super 
first. Our home. Trust. Let's do it. Part of the jam to shoot to blow it up. Uh, the explosive bit. <clears throat> Let's go. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Jump in. Why is defense failing? The bots have introduced a brand new defense mechanism. Server instabilities. Yeah, clearly. Uh, actually, let me check Helldiver's uh, current overall. Let's see. Um, so while... The bots are ahead of us. Uh, we are currently racing ahead as it looks like players are signing on for the night. So we expect, at the rate things are going, we do expect victory in this world. Unfortunately, we have made zero progress on any other worlds. Which means um, getting any other worlds to be difficult. Sickle good primary for bots? Yes, very. Um, it's not my favorite kind of weapon, so I tend to not use it, but it is very good. I tend to prefer DMR type weapons in general, so you see me use sniper type stuff. <coughs> but, uh, outside of that. And the weapon is the, the new sickle. It's quite good. And defend order on the bugs now? Excuse me. <clears throat> no, there isn't. Current defend order is uh, bots. Hold all three bots locations. Or hold defense the three bot uh Places. The new planets we have just reclaimed. Yeah, Malevolent Creek, Ubania, and Dropner are the current. We have to hold it for the next eight hours. <coughs> um, the ideal was to capture Tibet while defending these three. Uh, however, it looks like the bots are kind of pushing pushing back something fierce and attacking other locations, which is kind of distracting us again. <clears throat> Defend order not a major order. Defend order. Uh, that's not an order. That's just a defense. You have personal orders and major orders. There's always, there are always, you can always go fight the bugs. You can always go fight the bots. You don't get orders for it. Unless it's a major order or a personal order. I don't know what the personal order is right now because I've already completed it for the day apparently. And the uh, major order is bots. What about here? Do just done where it kills? Oh my. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Uh, 40 minutes evac with no modifiers. So, one, two, three. I still don't like the 500, but it helps me cheese things. Ooh, I have options here. I don't opt to get this. Okay. At levels above 50, they did. They did. Planet you render is defend is under defend. Yes, it is. This is a this is a planet that is being attacked. We are defending this world. <clears throat> Person Lord is Star Wars kills. Good to know. Yeah, I'm happy about them adding the levels, and it's retroactive. So all of my playtime from before registered, so I can I can show off how little of a life I have, which has regularly gotten commentary from people. Um, regularly gotten commentary from people, 
even had a dude I dropped in with who, uh, for part two of the mission, just straight copy pasted my loadout. Uh, uh oh, okay, I'm gonna go handle this. Uh, just straight copy pasted my loadout. He's like, oh god, the, 10, the 107 is playing this loadout, I'm gonna do this. And then he proceeded to die miserably, but that's just bots. Oh no, these two are following me. I am concerned greatly for them. So these are the new gunships. Uh, they function like stalkers or the new flying bugs. Uh, once you get within an, their aggro radius, they will spawn and come hunt you down. Uh, there is no hiding from them. They know where you are and they, they take you out. Um, still open lobbies, but he's from the server popped in. Well, he popped in after he popped in after I quick played in. So I quick played in someone who wasn't full, and he popped in, which is fine. I figured to destroy the bot tower things. It has to be hell bomb, and there is no other option. Come on. All right, got it. Sniped? Yes, yes, you did. Oh god, and something has caused a dropship here. Which is going to make my life very difficult. Come on. Uh, am I gonna burn a laser here? No. Ow. I'm going to try to fight this, although it's probably a mistake, and the reason I'm trying to fight it is because I have multiple teammates here, and in part because I want to keep them alive, and in part because I think we can. Alright, Hellbomb. Throw this guy right here. You throw it in the hole, because if you don't throw it in the hole, then everything in line of sight tries to shoot the Hellbomb. So you notice this particular region covered in defensive positions and open space. So you always throw it in the trench so that's the nearest tower can't just turn and snipe it. Also, it looks like the team managed to provide anti-air support, so we should be good to go here. The travel time on this thing is so much. Got it. All right, that creature is down. Nice. Excellent. Hello there, Mr. Gallum. Uh, do you ever run anything for the dropships? You just fight through it drops. Uh, uh, I don't specifically run equipment to fight dropships, if that's your question. Um, just shoot a lot. Um, you don't try to destroy the dropships themselves. That's a mistake. Like, 100% of the time. Welcome back, Machine Gather. Hoping to play this tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, you can tell because I'm playing it. Is this you? It is. Alright, where are you at? Oh, let's take you out. Thank you. Ow. Oh, there is a cyclone in there. Alright. Not the only one running. Dominator. Alright, so we definitely made a lot of noise. Countered one of the new enemies. I've encountered all of them. And I have all the knowledge you may need to know about them. You love the blizzards? You know, actually, the blizzards aren't the worst thing. Because uh, they, they do reduce visibility. Nah, the, blizzards are kind of dope. the blizzards make sneaking a lot easier, even though they also slow you down. They don't slow you down that much if and only if you've got the leg enhancement. Muscle enhancement. Excuse me, sir. Why are we being... Oh, there's a bot tower. Uh, 
Um, so, this will do that. So, where is this bot tower? Oh, it's the south. All right. Activate you. There we go. I require this, and there's no reason to be here anymore. So, I'm going to just grab a second charge of this because no one else is here. And we're leaving. Uh, but there's a bot tower looking at us from the south direction. No longer looking at me. I need to go over there and take care of it. I see a... one of you. I'll get a 500. Start this. Six kills. Uh, something with the rocket launchers survived. To cyclone. Uh, we're getting flared here. Which is unfortunate. Not a big deal. <coughs> um, could be a big deal, actually. Good shot. Unfortunately, those creatures seem to have fallen. Uh, time to go. There's no good reason to be here anymore. Why are you vaulting over the sky? Huh. This is multiple patrols coalescing in this location. Which is generally unsatisfactory. But we're in a blizzard, so they can't see anything. So I'm gonna just leave. Which is the metaphor of a blizzard. How about the lore and the narrative? Yeah, lots of lore, lots of narrative coming out. Jump into it. Why don't you... Why don't you vault over the sky? Because I don't have a strike craft. I want to fly. I'll fly a pelican if you let me. Just let me fly. How's the music volume, by the way, guys? Uh, this facility is a large facility. I'm going to be casting a laser upon it. You can legally buy an F-15. You're not wrong. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. There we go. Although, that does sound pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's time to leave. The big boy is chasing me. How are you so fast, the Blizzard? Uh, the leg enhancement. Um, the Blizzard gives you. The leg enhancement mitigates speed reduction. And the blizzard is speed reduction. So if you run the leg enhancement, then it doesn't give you the speed reduction. Your speed reduction. Uh, in snow worlds, in my opinion, the speed reduction resistance of the muscle enhancer is better than the speed boost of the, uh, well, speed boost. So that's that's kind of a big deal. Uh, it always makes me sad when people aren't running speed boost and muscle and or muscle enhancer and speed boost on a uh, on this world or any ice world for that matter. It's like, oh yeah, we don't need those. We're fine. No, you're not fine. There's something over here, and I don't know if it's a big boy, or it just... Yeah, it's a big boy. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'll drop one of you right here. That's not what I wanted to go, but I guess this is what's happening now. Okay. Looks like I pissed it off. So we're gonna check this over here. Let's 
So it definitely didn't dive, which means I got to deal with this now. And unfortunately, it's going to give these guys time to flare if they're so inclined. There's another creature to my side. Oh, there's so many. Is that a whole patrol? That was a whole patrol. Okay, I didn't realize it was a whole patrol walking up on me here. That's going to make my life difficult, actually. Um. Hmm. Okay. If I can get them to chase me out here, that would be awesome. Ow. Not a direct hit, but painful nonetheless. Alright. Muscle enhancement. Now let's see. Yeah. Best ones are muscle enhancements, vitality booster, stamina booster, and uh, space optimization. Pretty much, yes. Um, vitality one, I can do without, especially now that we're, the rockets are no longer one hit kills. Um, but, like, the UAV is really good. Uh, but I can. I can understand vitality. Like vitality is is good. Do I deal with this? Not really. I might just go take out this thing while I wait for primary to calm down. You start lifting to improve your face structure. Lifting, like face lifting. I mean, cosmetic surgery is not exactly top and list things to do. Uh, I I sh I should do some more weightlifting, or just exercise in general. Lifted the nose, lifted those lips. That's the first thing my brain went to. There's a patrol in here. Oh my god! Is it Let's go that way. Splash that damage. Yeah. We try medium heavy armor buffs. Uh, I did a little bit of testing. Um, you guys know I'm not super into the medium and heavy armors. I, I played around with medium for a while, and like I still think it's a strategic mistake, but they're certainly strong. As long as you have, like you gotta, ha it feels like you gotta have at least one person in light to carry the team. But the uh, heavy armor, especially, feels much better. Like it didn't really feel bad last patch. But it feels like it's in a properly good place now, I think. Get those lips that can curl 50 kg. Oh my god, that's so much. Need to take out the factory? Yes, yes. That is the premium strategy. Against bots, at least. Uh, you got a heavy base? You drop a laser on it. it solves problems. It solves a lot of problems. 200 kg nose strain. Alright. What are we looking at here? Just some samples. Right. You can explore they survive contact mines now? Oh my. For a second I thought that was on me and I got excited. I was like, yes! But it wasn't. Was it? I think that was on team, and it's either omniscience or now that's far away. That's like really delayed. Yeah, and we're starting to get groups, even randoms that don't need samples. It's nice to see. Wow, this is real messy in there. We just lit up the whole room. The second sun arrives. All right, I'm gonna shoot this guy, which should piss off most of these creatures. Throw you over here. Clear out everything I'm not seeing and paying attention to. Four kills. Just got a bunch of infantry over there now, it looks like. 
And we should be safe from the flare. So we're good to start running this. <laughs> you probably need like 1k common samples, dude. It's a lot of samples, man. Clean airstrike, very clean. Alright, start pressing buttons and call the resupply right up here. Maybe not. Even though you probably won't be at the 500 cap with everything unlocked. The world may never know. At least. Until you try. I am happy with your hatred of light. Alright, what have you done? I want to shoot that, because it's going to come over here faster. <clears throat> Which is entirely unnecessary. You see, that's a good place for a flare. That dude's totally... There's there's no way that dude's not omniscient, by the way. Like, that's on the other side of the hill. Hmm. It's a turret module, it just means it's a pain in the rear. Eh. Being released around April 11th? It would seem so, yes. Like, I am surprised the devs are trying to keep that kind of pace. That is some really fast paced development. I mean that's that's every that's monthly content dropped. We've had you know stuff in between. My. Hmm. Uh, which direction does the eagle come from? Eagle comes from either left or right. Um, I'm pretty certain it depends on which side the uh, which side is closest to center. Yeah, over there. All right, so this thing is angry with me, and this will. Remain angry with me until it's solved. Alright, solved. Alright. So, three new primaries, a new secondary, a new grenade for warbond, something like that, yes. Five dollars of stuff was pre made. Yeah, it's, dude, that, these, the thing's literally just omniscient over there. Which I'm perfectly fine with, by the way, because it's. Like, he's right there. Yeah, he's shooting. He's omniscient against Mr. Fahrenheit over there. So, he's shooting at Mr. Fahrenheit and just. I just don't have to care. It was you? Okay, well, I mean, the dude flared multiple times all the way over there. Got the new buff Jar 5? Yeah, I mean, I've been running Jar 5 since before the buffs, because it's just... It was already S tier. So... It was already A tier. So... It's, it's just that good. I don't think it needed a buff, but they buffed it, and now it's just the top S tier. Went loud, but the previous one is omniscient. Okay. Alright, so there was an admission one over there. He killed it. And then, uh, he went loud. Kill this tank here. There you go. Tank dead. Here we go. Have gotten a dominator yet? Yeah. He is good. A DMR type weapon. You guys have seen me use it one shot, one kill. And then just snipe targets out. Range. <coughs> Want to work down the free war bond? Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no rush. You can, you can do as you, as you need to find most optimal. Uh, uh, the farm is spread out way too much, so I'm going to ignore it. Slugger's still your beloved. Slugger's still good. Slugger's still very good. You're just holding back and already doing the content. Oh, absolutely. Like there's, we've already seen like next war bond stuff in the game already. This is not. There's a lot going on here. Um, this stuff looks 
I it's there's a lot of aggro there to be omniscient, but it's wait a minute. My stim didn't get cancelled. It it went through. I'm confused. Oh, they had melee. I hope so too. That'd be cool. Alrighty then. Head back down to extract here. Um, bot drop is detected. This looks farm adjacent. So I'm gonna just cleanse this real quick. Let's go. Wasn't there some talk about silenced weapons? Yes. Yes, yes, there was. I found the walk rate. I have, I have. It's thick. Uh, the only time I've ever seen it is on extract. Like, it just seems to chill on extract. Uh, which is unpleasant. Uh, I've seen it three times so far. Every time is very memorable for reasons I'm sure are not a surprise. Um, yeah, let him call it in. I would like to remove this creature. I deserve that. I knew that was the potential. <clears throat> and the APC in the melee. The APC looks close. It looks really cool. Yeah, I got blasted. AMR and Riot Shield. That's an interesting combo. I need to go north. Um, uh, my stuff is right there. That's my corpse right there. Interesting. Alright, in that case, I'm going to blast this dude because he's walking the wrong way. Take out the legs on you. Leg on you. And then the rest of you. Oh my god. You see those rockets? Maybe hey, Portano's in the walker. Um I've seen a couple places that are medium armored in terms of weak points. Uh I don't know about weak points, but I have seen places that can be shot or at least have weaker armor. Um so that's, you know, a good start. Uh, like the top of it is got some weak spots, the rear of it, like the aft side, has got some notable points. Um, probably the easiest place I've seen to hit is the, uh, is the, are the pistons in, on its aft deck. Which are, while cool, haven't gotten kills off of it. So, I don't know about a weak spot, but it is a vulnerable spot. I think of it like the charger, but not a weak spot, but can be damaged. Which is, you know, a good start, at least. Drop your backpack, T2. Uh, no. I appreciate it, but no. Yeah, just loiter this. Hopefully. I'm out of range. Alright, loitering is happening. Oh, he went in. Oh, so you get to jump in immediately? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Does any of us here need samples? Need to clear this. Reinforcing here. Uh, beautiful. Hmm. Marking location. Marking location. Now Should be a good throw. All right, that's our cue to leave. Um, I did not make a very strong path here. Eleven kills is a lot of kills. 
Um, if we're gonna be chilling out here like this, we're gonna want to reset. I'm missing my shots. I oh, got it. Ah, fire too many rounds. And this man needs to not be, you know, here. Shooting through this blizzard is rough. I'll say that. Got a hit. I'm just seeing the glow of their eyes. They're no longer accurately shooting at us, which you can tell because we're not dying right now. They're kind of shooting at our last known positions-ish. Which, for someone who hasn't moved, is a little terrifying. That was a beautiful airstrike. Oh, Lord have mercy. Alright. Here's the thing. We're not going to make a whole lot of progress here doing this. So I'm moving up here. How long until Eagle Strike? There we go. That's a lot of damage. There's the laser. Alright. So we should be able to get in. It looks like all samples have been collected. So let's go. Okay, now we're never. Let's go. Let's go. Did it? <sighs> well, that sucks. You, know, the you did have all the samples. Well, that's just unfortunate. We're all gonna make it out. Like it was, it, it was. Everyone is here. All right. Well, that just sucks. That's a full clear, most samples. Pelican only wanted one clearly. Hello, Lelia, welcome in. How you doing? Hmm. It's on fire, leave a second someone gets on. Yeah, that's not, that's not true. We've seen it land, take zero damage because it's an uncontested landing, and then just instantly leave. Like many times. There's no correlation between that. Also, was it on fire this time? I didn't check to see if it was on I didn't pay attention if it was on fire. You secured a lot of samples. Well done. You landed with it on the helipad. It was very on fire. Ah, okay. Well, that's related, but, I mean, it may have been on fire, but the amount of times I've seen it take off without it being on fire is crazy. It's just obnoxious. Alrighty then. So, let's go ahead and open it up. You guys want to come on in? Now is your opportunity. Let's get some defending going. Welcome in, Icicle. Yeah, crack. You know, the uh, the arc is actually, I'm going to say it, it's better versus bots now. The, uh, the knockback on it is nice. Ally destroyer has 
Join squadron. Don't know if the uh, instant takeoff when it's on fire still happens or not, but you know, being on fire makes you do it every time. So I'll have to keep that in. Um, I'll keep that in in mind, because I know that it was not that way at all points in time. But if it's been, if it's been, I'm gonna say fixed so that it does work that way. Now that's interesting. All right. So now that we got a full party, it looks like all of these are extricate missions, which is messy. No, nope, we got one. All right. Uh, lag free voice, yes. Yeah. If you guys want to listen in, I'm not doing a whole lot of voice chat tonight, but I will leave it. I will be uh, opening it up. If you guys join a voice lobby, I could pull you in so you don't have to have stream open if you want to hear my voice. Let's see, this is one, two, three, and I don't know, and eat, arc thrower, let's try it, arc thrower. Eats are probably 100% better, well, let's try it, arc thrower. Okay. <clears throat> Ready when you are. Oh, you know what I should bring? Turn this off and bring a uh, mortar. Mortar's just kind of good to have here. Still unlocking holes to the arc through his It is. Ken says in chat is. Uh, yes. Welcome in, Ken. <clears throat> so many thickums. I bet Ken's loving the heavy armor buffs. That's some uh, sweet, tasty heavy armor. Down for the achievement tonight if you are. Uh, we could coordinate that. So the Minecraft server you're hosting doesn't make you lag. Huh. You know, I've never seen a Minecraft server that doesn't lag the machine they're on. Oh. This is going to be painful. Um, I should have landed outside. Yeah. Alright, I am outside in a, not a great location, but it'll do. Oh, there's a hell bomb out here already. Well, that's awesome. Let's go that way. My favorite mission? That's a darn good question. Oh my god, it, it landed out here. Okay. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I like I like the nukes. You know what? I'm going to say nukes. I like the nukes. Nukes are, nukes are fun. Alright. How long can I be here before getting punished? So a lot of what I'm doing here is just delaying. Because... Ow. Closer than I expected. Hmm. Oh boy. I didn't have an opportunity! Oh, well, this just sucks, is what this is. I'm going to try to stay away from the team a little bit. Huh. 
The ragdoll is a little extreme. A little extreme. Alright. Uh. There's a reason to hold the inside area. No, there isn't. There really isn't. Hitch says the rockets are lame. Well, a uh, bit not so much, yeah. I'm just worried these super new the arc throw. Now, the arc throw is like top tier versus bots. This is pretty high. Let me come to strategy and run inside while being traitor. Uh, yes, Icicle, call us it. You need people to cause DPS. You missed. You missed the throw. Freedom never there is. N we need death per second. There is no reason not to call people in on this mission. Other than you know being physically unable to. That's a lot of cyclone. up all of its arms. Alright, this thing needs to go. Alright, a lot of explosion. Making piecemeal out of those that was did it. Yeah, it's good. I took out the tank, which makes it worth it, but painful nonetheless. Um, this should be a good throw. There's gonna be a lot of stuff there. Lack of the dark throw, eh? Good, keep using it. Alright, I'll just carry a neat for the moment. Motors coming in clutch. Uh, everyone died. Oh, I think Traitor happened to crag, which then anti traitored everyone. I'm missing my shots here. That's arm now. Huh. The floor is mostly missing. things. Ow. Thank you. Stagger together strong. Standing 
Oh, well, that's a little closer than I wanted it to be. Hitting it. There we go. Nice. Why are you mount... I swear. Alright. Sounds like Pelican 1's having a great time out there. And we're good to go. Did it, team. Are they good in the Devastator? Yes. Yes, this is true. You can do it. Didn't level on Creek get conquered? Let's give you the new hard mode planet. Um, level on Creek wasn't harder than other bot planets. Um, I would say Vendelon 4 is way harder than uh, Malevolent Creek. I think about the new Quasar Quinn, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It didn't replace Recoilers for me in most cases. Um, it's, it's fine. Easy mission, but the last time you ran it? No. Ah, uh, nerfed it. They haven't nerfed it, no. Um,. It's just tends to be tends to be easier when we're all running together. Um, we did get some weapon changes, like the Dominator is more effective. The Arc Thrower was a big change. The Arc Thrower now stuns, so we had someone sitting with the Arc Thrower around that corner and just pretty much hard walling any bots from coming around that corner. Period. Um, as well, the mission hasn't been nerfed. We have, uh, we have been buffed. Uh, so that's that's kind of a big difference, kind of a big deal. Is this Cyberstan? No, this is Patrick. Um, does the arc stun lock stun hulks? Yes, it doesn't just stun hulks; it stun locks them. So it it does full stun lock three creatures. Which is intense. Is it the armor buff? Yeah, the armor. We actually have heavy armor buffs now, too. Yeah. yeah. Malevolent Creek, as much as it's been memed on pretty heavy, uh, it is. it wasn't actually more difficult. It was just the first one available. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe... God, there's, there's no... There's no good place here. Let's land here. Should give us some time to do things. Yeah, Malevolent Creek wasn't actually more difficult than other bot missions, other bot places. It was just the first one people went to and thus became a meme. Because, you know, oh my god, bot's hard. You love the heavy armor buffs? Yeah, the heavy armor buffs are nice. Uh, I'm still not partial to it, but that's just because I don't like heavy armor in general. <clears throat> Three auto cannons. Um, I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> so bloody, I slaughtered so many things. We didn't have as good armor penetration as you do now. This is true. At least the creep cape goes up. Creep cape, creep cape goes hard. It does. Well, all your armor is pristine. Knight in shining armor. Oh, gun nerf needs to be reverted. Eh. <clears throat> I do think the real gun could use a could use a buff. Try out the quasar for the first time today. I like it. It is it is reasonable. It is reasonable. Um. I struggle to want to use it not because it is a bad weapon or anything of this sort. I struggle to want to use it because it lacks DPS. 
Ah. Uh, and the lack of DPS means I can't carry teams, which is a problem. Uh, because, you know, two hulks coming around the corner, I get one shot, and then I have 15 seconds before I can launch another round. Which is kind of a long time. So, I want to do that. I can't save the team while doing that. Unlike auto cannon. Oh no, teammate getting blasted. Let me solve the problem. That thing was all the way over there. What are you? Radar tower. Can't see it from here. Alright, I'm not seeing any flying flying factories around. We certainly got some other goods around here. What is that? Yeah, some artillery. Just gonna ignore that. I'm gonna deal with this. a shot. And I'll clear that the rest of that out and then move next. Oh Lord have mercy. Name orbital rail cannon strike implies the existence of a non-orbital rail cannon strike. <laughs> You're not wrong and I like the way you think. Is that not gonna finish oh my god I didn't finish it. How many creatures are in there? Hmm. Do what I do. Look how off this site is. Holy smokes. Alright, where is this thing? the shot I'm looking for. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not going to be here anymore. Alright. Playing with randoms? None at the moment, no. We are currently playing with chat. More specifically, uh, the community members here. Uh, if you guys are looking to join, and I assume we some are, uh, then we'll be, we'll be doing some rotating out as time goes on. Places for this, so I'm just leave that right there and move on to my life. Is it angry with me? Yes, it is, which is a problem. Like your arm gone. Thank you. I should have reloaded earlier. Probably need to not be nearby, just like in general. Hmm. I don't know if they do sights like in real life. Uh, I, they're not gonna do sights like in real life. That's just not gonna happen. This is this is not battle bit quality here. So he's got that question mark? Yes, yes he does. Next. You wish you had this game reminds you of some old Battlefield and uh, Battlefronts with the Starship Trooper vibes. I mean, it's a good game, comes highly recommended. Flame hooks terrifying now. The universal flame damage tick rate buffs gives you less than a second to live. Yeah, yeah, 
It's uh, rough, to say the least. Is this not... Okay, no, that's the primary objective, just offset. Found a door, understandable. Have a nice day. I'm just gonna ignore you. You can get mad over there if you want. What boost do you normally use? I mean, the, the good ones are the stamina booster, the muscle enhancement, the crew... I guess... Pod storage enhanced optimizer. And the, uh, either the UAV or the, uh... Vitality, one of the two. Like there's there's no reason to pick the other ones. Uh, with the exception of the Eradicate mission, which is the point hold defense. Which is, uh, there's some reason to bring, there's some motivation to bring the Reinforcement Enhancer. One that gives everyone an extra, specifically the one that gives everyone an extra, alright. An extra life. Hmm. I miss. Yes. You need to not shoot again. Thank you. I'm concerned because I'm pretty certain there's a patrol behind me and it's not happy with my existence. Oh no, it's chasing. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Moving on. Can it blow open fences? Yes, yes it does. Among other things. That is a patrol. My... Oh, no, well, they got mad. Okay. I gonna say, cue to leave. Ow. Ah, you love this map? You've seen so far? Is it seems well designed for this style of game. I mean, this game is not meant to be fair, so doesn't map doesn't matter so much. But yes. Has expired. Cannon. Cannon is death. Uh, I need some resupply here, which is probably not gonna happen. Ow. We're a little low on the whole HP thing. Ow. At least one player here needs. All right, I'm gonna call. I'm in near extract, so I'm gonna call and resupply here. Seen many fabricated shredders? Yeah, I've seen this fair, not on the stream tonight, uh, but off stream I have seen a fair few of them. Um, they are quite tanky. Um, not found a good way of bringing them down. Um, so that's, that's a thing. Alright. I'll leave this right here. That's my cue to not be here. It's not aimed at me, that's that Krag who I presume is hunting it with. Not so reckless abandon. This is going to piss off that patrol. 
Okay. I got shot out of the air. What are the terminated version of the factory wipers going to be? I don't think there's going to be a one-to-one -one comparison. There's uh, plenty of choke points. Yeah, it's the choke points that make... It's the, the combo of choke points plus general desert-like open environment that makes this place particularly difficult. It's um, not easy. I don't need to be here. It's certainly not easy. It's not like you can just run around everywhere because sometimes you just try to go somewhere. It's like, oh, I need to cross through this little place because there is no alternative because choke points. Except there's, you know, two patrols sitting there guarding it. It's just like, oh, okay, well, that's just unfortunate. Uh, it's gonna be up to you guys whether how many samples you all want. I know at least a couple of you did samples. You died way over there, so you come back over here. All of them, all of them. Fair enough. I'm looking at four patrols on my screen right now. Which is a lot of patrols. They do their marching cadence. Sending in an eagle. Coming in hot. There is indeed a uh, bunker here. I need to kill this before flare, and this before flare. All right, and you get headshot, and there's a patrol walking up on me. So these guards are down, but I need to not be here. We leave shells in the snow. Yeah, we do. Footprints and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the enemies try to. Uh, they don't. As far as I'm aware, they don't track you like footsteps was. They do hunt you down. I'm trying to be like Simo. I don't know what that means. Hmm. It's funny to watch people struggle against the uh, Illuminate. Assuming that they're coming back, yes. Uh, I, for one, have not played against them, so I'm sure I will struggle for a while. Um, this creature needs to be destroyed, and I prefer to have anything between it and me when it turns around. Oh, did I not blow out his backside? Okay. Oh my god. That's what happened there. I was like, wait a minute, I could have sworn I blew out his backside. I did. There were two of them. Also, that's what the auto cannon's good for. Committing uh, mass violence. Rapid application of heavy violence. I got the terminal. <sighs> There's just a whole patrol over here, man. There's no good solution to this. Map. West, 200 meters. I either have to wait for it to walk through entirely, which... It's not a good solution. Or I kill it and hope I could take out the infantry fast enough. Which I think I've done. Thank you. 
All right, button pressing time. Pressing that one. There we go. Some that one. A pin, on nearby position. patrol. All right, sweet. Um, hearing marching sounds up here. A pin. Yeah. Marking location. Northeast. Free frostbite for everyone. Good. And the patrols three times. Why are people throwing you in the patrols? You fix the can steer issue? No, they haven't. I right, got another patrol approaching from the uh, west. That's going to be coming through here. Center my vision, but I'm not seeing any. There it is. This man's not pressing buttons. What? Why are you abandoning your post? That's about to get mad. Alright, we've got an angered patrol here. Opening the fire. About to have a second angered patrol because they're within 50 meters. Wow, they are not walking this way. Got another patrol approaching from the north. Second patrol. Hmm. Enemy dragon away. That's not necessary. Because you've already got a patrol. The patrol you're walking towards right now, Ken, is a little bit already gone. Uh, it's the other patrol on your left that's walking this way. There's two patrols. The, the, oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, none of them are coming this way, though, so as long as we don't go loud, they won't see us. Alright. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm, I will head toward the, uh, the trio of loot boxes to the south. And uh, see if I can't clear those up. We have the other two head toward the uh, the duo to our northeast. Uh, Ken, if you want to come along to the south. samples on the way out here. What are you patrol? Oh, no, take your time. You do what you, you do what you need to do. <clears throat> Alright, so this has been pillaged. In 500 kg killed nothing. Oh no. I had a match yesterday where a player insisted on in fighting every patrol he saw. Yes. They do that. Hey, area. Hey, Ken, caught up. Big guns and hot buns. Welcome in, Nicolt. I just call you Nico, I think. Samples for all. 
All right, uh, Ken, I will drop these samples for you. If you go to the east, pick up the other samples, and then go meet at extract, I'll go collect your other samples. Calling down Krag over here to assist. Not worth getting? Yeah, but they're free, though. Oh, should have waited for, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, drop the samples off at extract first. It's probably a good idea. There, Ken. Um, at, that looks omniscient. Not at me, I think. But terrifying, nonetheless. Alright, where is this? It's over here. Alright, well, uh, that's un really unfortunate now, isn't it? Alright, so I'm not going to get those in the foreseeable future, I think. Those are gone forever. <laughs> in the first game, you basically could not win if you aggroed the cyborgs, the highest difficulty. Yeah, it's not far off from here. Like, obviously you can aggro them, but you can't keep them aggroed. It's just a mistake. It's not that you can't survive if you aggro them, it's that the time it takes you to unaggro by committing destruction is so inefficiently high. It just it takes way too long. Like you will run out of your 40 minute mission, not to mention reinforcements or ammo, uh, before go before uh, blowing your way through Ow. Oh, hey, these things don't like one shot you anymore. That's nice. samples off of that. Check this out. It just looks like it's got some stuff on it. There's the cannon. The one that's 400 meters away. Where am I going? Over here. Uh, I don't know what it looks like over there, Ken, but if you want to call extract, go for it. No reason not to. Just understand that you're alone, and if you get seen, you're gonna die. So don't get seen. Uh, don't be afraid to run out of the area. If you get pushed off, if like if you get found, just leave. We could, we've got 15, 16 minutes. We don't have to. We don't have to be there. Uh, they're walking up on your. They're walking up on your east there behind you. Okay, you're, you're, that looks like a good idea to get out of there. Looking a little hot. Alright, call you guys back down over here. How close is this patrol? Ah. I don't walk this way. We're having pathing issues around the rock. Should be out of range here. Reloading. Yeah, you're still walking this way. Nice. My life for super Earth. 
Super sample stems. Actually, it looks like Ken's gonna get it. Nice. Uh, just make sure to uh, refine rock. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, just make sure to uh, five minutes. Just make sure to loiter it so that he just leave the area as soon as it hits zero, like the instant it leaves zero, so that the uh, pelican doesn't land. It just loiters, which would be like right now. Just get out of the area. Go this way. There we go. So just don't go near the extract again. We'll be fine. Extract is now off limits. Oh, good news is, I didn't die when that rocket hit me because I was behind cover. Bad news is, I lost all of my footing because Ragdoll. That, that's another patrol. Where is it? Oh, there's another patrol right next to us. Okay. we go. They're not angry. Alright. This is fine. Just gotta grab these goodies. Yep. He's gonna hang out there, commit violence upon all things bot-shaped. That sounds suspiciously uh, omniscient on the sides, which concerns me immensely, because they're very close to their friends. Alright. This looks like heavily sampled territory. Uh, yes, yes it was. Oh, and the super samples are here. Tell me I knew. All right, just try to stay away from me. Yeah. All right, has this been opened? It has not. All right, that's definitely on icicle. So just be aware, icicle. Those bots are shooting at you through the wall. Uh, you might have start running now while you can. Pillaged. Alright, best bet is you're gonna go to the north and around. Yeah, if we shoot at the omniscient bot, it's just going to aggro everything else. Well, that sounds bad. Uh, we're heading back to extract now. Uh, you should. Everything hates you right now. Well, if you have line of sight to the uh, to the pelican, the pelican should be helping you out with that. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, Craig, there's only one sample there, so it's not a not a big deal. Uh, this is not samples. It's not worth the time and investment to go get it. Alright, uh, so we should... We need two samples. They do. The samples actually change how full the beaker is, but depending on how many samples are in it. Um, so that's that's the lowest possible value there. And for POI, oh, oh yeah. I, it's just bugged. Like, the devs have already... The devs have already tried to fix it and partially fixed it, but haven't. Alright, let's go. In, in we are. All aboard the fat bird.
Uh, we're here, we're here. You guys see the April Fool's Power World post? I did! And I genuinely can't tell if it was an April Fool's or not because I don't... I would be surprised if, like, just a couple months from now they just came out with that. Like, that, that, would, that would be up just normal expectations. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a clean, full map, low death, primary, secondary, tertiary, clean, full extract. Hell dive. I'm still fairly certain <clears throat> that playing hell dive mode does not, is not worth for the purposes of completing the major order, but it's fun though. Samples are sampled. Oh no, it's the best way to get samples. So we are all covered. Exception of Crag. Crag is immune to being covered in blood. He hasn't done enough bot murdering. Welcome back. Well done. Good samples, good samples. You covered on your screen? Yeah, it's it's pretty certain it's just a bug. Not intentional, but I love it. How often are you getting game crashes since patch? We've had I've had one since crash. Engaging orbital thrusters. 2K is you keep spending your on armor. Uh, I have already purchased pretty much all the armor, so I have nothing to spend on. Wow, this place is this place is a nightmare. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think here is gonna be better. But like, I don't, this is, this is, it's all going to be bad. It's all going to be bad. Okay. That's for a quick bathroom, but yeah, go for it, go for it. There I see. We can pause for a moment. Give me a time to check and respond to my messages. Seems to be the ICBM missions in terms of crashing. <laughs> do you like hot dropping or do you like hot dropping? That is the current that is the current option available to us, yes. Like ice goes back. Okay, get off when you're ready. Everyone's blood shattered, is splattered except the shiny. I just appreciate that heavies are an option now. Like you guys know me, I, I'm not into the heavy armor personally, but I appreciate that it exists. Levels change. We now have access to level 150. Okay, 
I got access to new goodies. <sighs> Alright, so what are we landing next to? I don't see anything immediately concerning. Except for the obelisk of boom. And what is likely to be a... Uh, the internet is uh, less dead than it was moments ago. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. This game is interesting. You like watching us play it, but we said earlier in the stream for something a bit bigger. To a Titanfall, which keeps the dropping from orbit aspects while using giant robots. Yeah, understandable. A Titanfall, very different game. Um, very, very different game. I want to say hello to everyone who's still hanging out. Hello there, Vertigo. Stay away from the obelisk of boom. <laughs> it works too hard, too well at Comcast. Oh no. It wasn't the obelisk that got me this time. It was good old-fashioned Comcast. Which is really rather unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> and while we uh, hang out for a moment... Yeah, some new goodies. Uh, latest hot fix here. Just uh, fixing a crash, which has happened many times. Still a bunch of crashes going around. Bouncing horizontally. I don't know if that's something worth bringing up. What is the point of wrecking dropships when the cargo survives the crash? Yeah, yeah. This is why I say don't bother shooting down dropships. It's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I see. That's, that's pretty good. The squad when the reinforcement budget is depleted. The squad when the reinforcement budget is normal. This is why I say every time, if you play like you're actually trying to survive, like you don't have respawns, the game is so much more smooth. You have to treat the game as if you're on your last life, as if you don't want to die, or... You lose. You die a lot. It, like, it's ridiculous. Like, the, the amount of time you spend carry two SSDs at the same time. <laughs> Man's juggling. Man's juggling so hard. When merch? Good question. Um, I really should do, I really should do merch. Enough yet? <laughs> got, got, uh, it, indicators on indicators on indicators. What do you mean we lost the creek? <laughs> oh, good lord. He's the railgun, no seems silly. Yeah, I mean, railgun still feels fine to me. It's just the problem I have with the railgun. It doesn't do enough armor pen to deal with the uh, dropships reliably. It just doesn't, it just doesn't have, it just isn't an auto cannon. Like, I can't, I can't hard carry the teams. Good God, I have seen this so many times. It's crazy. What? No, that's not what I wanted. Stop it. Apparently you can do this. He mounted the tank. Oh! I didn't even consider that. This man straight up put a heavy machine gun on top of a tank. Um, like, I know... Now, you see, I knew the drop pods could land on the tank without killing them. And I knew you could, you know, drop ammo on top, because I've done that before. 
I didn't consider putting a full heavy machine gun turret on top of a tank. That's that's amazing. I, no, no, not doing that. That's that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Let's see. Check out helldiver.io. You finally got your creek cloak? Ah, uh, yeah. So, how close are we to this? We are on path to succeed. Vandalon 4. Only just barely. Like, at this rate. It's only a win by an hour, and we're going to expect to see these numbers drop off. We may actually lose Vandalon 4, which would be really rather unfortunate. Um, we do have a few more hours after Vandalon. So what I expect to happen is Vandalon 4 gets cap, gets uh, defended, although it'll be close. And then we'll get to choose another planet. And I suspect it's going to be Tibet. Because Tibet is uh, the, the odd one out here. It's cut off, <clears throat> and if we capture it, that would be amazing. But the next major order is probably going to be Maya or Durgin. Unless, uh, unless something else gets involved. Which is possible. Let's see, Astanu is a defensive mission and is succeeding. With room to spare, Fury Prime and Crimsica are both of attack missions. Where Fury Prime is a stalemate, and uh, pretty much so is Crimsica. But Fury Prime is close to being captured. Not a big deal. The amount of damage you deal when completing an operation is equal to the experience multiplied by an internal scalar, some other variables. Mission scales inversely with the running average of the total population. It means as the galaxy as a target goal is how much liberation can be done across the entire galaxy. Okay. Hmm. So I think this only applies to the final mission. Like it's, yeah, it's a, only when completing an operation. So we have to complete the operation. And I think that only applies to the final mission in the operation as well. So not only do we have to complete three Helldive missions, but the final Helldive mission has to be a full XP, full clear, primary, secondary, tertiary, and triple extract in order for us to get the uh, full benefit for liberation. Which is just kind of a lot when you could do something less, like something with only two, and then um, just get all the XP there, hard grind it out. That's, that's what I recall about it anyways. That's what my thoughts about it. And I, I haven't been shown hasn't been shown to be incorrect. Let's see. Eagle one in action is so pretty. I like, I like, I want. Mighty bigger guns. So at the back here, you can see the pistons are retracted right now. But there's these two pistons right there. Here, let me. These two, okay, do I have Gimpy? I do have it here. Alright, sweet. These two pistons, they are right here. This one right here, this one right here. These two are kind of important, as far as I can tell. Those two pistons are only medium armor, and I don't know if they're actually a weak spot. But if you hit right here and right here, 
then you do uh, m damage through the medium armor. Um, the pistons will go up and down. So you might, there are times, they're both retracted here, but I most of the time I see them going up and down. Um, if you hit those two spots, one of those two spots, you should be able to do good damage with just about any weapon. Now, whether or not it's a weak spot, I have no idea. I genuinely can't tell. The thing has got so much of an HP pool, I haven't been able to test. Because it's... The time it takes me to do damage to the thing, it's like three patrol that a drop pod shows up, a dropship shows up, which is just painful. Um, so that's that's a thing. But that's the weak spot I've seen there. I want to imagine there is a weak spot somewhere in the face. I, you know, maybe maybe right, right over here in like the eyeball or something. Uh, I've tried shooting the top turret, which does work. It does damage it, but it doesn't seem to be worth shooting. Uh, the bottom turret, I don't think I've spent a lot of time shooting. It looks less armored than the top turret. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a weak spot under it. I've never actually tried going under it. But that's... that's what's going on there. As we have Kalijah coming in and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend, for 59 months now. Waiting for the nuke stratagem. Give us that hell bomb, though. Would the red in the leg be a weak spot? I doubt it. Yeah, it looks very armored. Things look like an ATAT. -AT. It does look like an ATAT. -AT. It does the ATAT -AT thing of dropping troops out of it. It is a walking automaton constructor, and it drops devastators, which is, you know, devastating. Um. So that's how that goes. I gotta look out for that guy. Haven't got a lot of good testing on him. Private is level 140. Super private. I want super private. How you play Helldivers? Literally every enemy, you with an autocannon. It's true, though. I'm sorry. You what? Dude got... Jump Jet Automaton got impacted mid-air by a 500 kg bomb from Eagle One. Now that's some serious sniping. You've seen one take a full orbital laser and a 500k direct hit and still keep going? Yeah, dude, those things are... Those things are, uh, grossly powerful. In terms of HP. take out gunship towers and gunships so i've heard mixed i've heard mixed um input on this the gunship towers seem to be able to be destroyed by we've seen reports of them being destroyed by most things as it they they seem to behave as if they are the same thing as the bug spires bug spires where they take damage from most things but it takes more than one hit from most things. Oh, let me rephrase. They don't take damage from most things. These don't take damage from most things. These things seem to have incredibly high armor. But I've seen reports of them being killed by like automaton rockets. Here we have one that's obviously been destroyed by a gunship crashing onto it. Um, there are things that seem to be able to break it that are not the hell dive, that are not the, uh, the hell bomb. But. It also seems that nothing in particular breaks it aside from the Hellbomb. As in, it takes like 7 gunships dropping on it, or 15 500kgs, or something like that. So, I I don't know. Like, there's something else that's going on there. I don't know what it is. The Royal Cannon doesn't even track? Yeah. <laughs> Auto Cannon at the lake. Uh -huh. Somebody plays... Who doesn't play and only knows what you're seeing. How would you say it compares to Bug Titans? Uh, the Bug Bile Titan is not nearly as tanky as the... Um, not nearly as tanky as the new at, -AT Walker. Don't even think it was that... I think it was a Sam Sight Mist? Sam Sight Mist. Oh... 
I see it. I don't... I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I see why... I see why... The, I mean, maybe. I don't think so. Because it looks like the missile explodes, but doesn't actually hit the thing. Where it is very obvious that the dropship hits the thing. But if it did hit the thing, it hit it on the antenna. Which makes me wonder if you can if you can hit it with a recoilless. Okay. That really makes me wonder if you could hit the recoilless. I'm gonna have to test that now. <laughs> what? No. Don't take from us the laser. 500 kg work. Nope. The only call down that works is the uh, hell bomb. That's it. And the hell bomb, as the community has discovered very quickly, is incredibly ineffective. Um, because those drone fabricators are always at a big open flat land with no cover near them. At least very little cover. So you drop a hell bomb in, and everything in line of sight shoots the hell bomb. So you have to like jam the hell bomb into the little trench next to the fabricator, which is a death sentence for the hell diver most of the time, unless you're being sneaky. Um, <clears throat> it's it's rough. It's real rough. Double drone fabricators obnoxious? Yes. Holy smokes. I think it's it's technically possible to get both with a single hell bomb, but you have to put it out in the open, which is not good. That is a gorgeous meme. When you say those, there's an issue. It is to resolve the arc for a misfire. Spear not locking on correctly, misaligned scopes. All that should be and will be fixed. But it's time consuming and an iterative process, so the only thing we need is time and trust from the uh, developers themselves. Yeah, they are, they're aware of a lot of those issues. They've been heard. That's, that's why I'm not concerned about it, because these are not like game breaking major issues. Actually, we're bringing the shield generator just for drones to protect Hellbomb. Yes, uh, I've seen multiple people suggest that, and it is a very good idea, in my opinion. Uh, however, I think it's not worth bringing the shield just for the drones. Because that's 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 too much. Especially against bots where you still get the uh, the anti-air that reduces your stratagem count. That's that's too much. So if Kalijah coming in with a nuclear launch, uh, I'll have it play the auto rotor isn't working. It's not that it isn't working, it's that on this scene I have it disabled. And I'm going to keep it that way for the time being. Uh, because this scene is not meant for that. Um, I will... It will play once we change scene back to game, uh, which I will do once we finish being Comcasted. Uh, for now, my internet's currently dying, and I cannot support playing the game, nor can I support properly streaming. So we're just um, browsing Reddit and uh, going over going over dramas. How it feels to bring two E stratagems, dude? That was so much fun uh, when they gave they gave eats out to everyone, and I just brought my own eats and I just littered the map with them. It was beautiful. <clears throat> like so, there were so many eats. There was just, just fat. Everyone is fat with eating. You can now survive an exploding railgun without shields if you have heavy armor. 50% explosion reduction. Oh my god. Man's just destroyed his own railgun and survived in heavy armor. That's that's okay. 
Yeah, don't don't worry, Ecolaji. We'll we'll bring it back here in a moment once the uh, once the stream resurrects. This would be an interesting modifier. I would hate it, but it would be okay. Like the AMR buff. AMR buff is nice. I don't take it over the auto cannon, but it is nice. We have some uh, Helldiver and Helldiver Violence. <laughs> ah. Deserved. Don't you risk your life on other planets with these common samples? You can foreign them on the railway tracks. Oh my god. Is that real? That looks real. I don't know what that means. Me every time. Oh yeah! They do this! If you shoot them down, they 100% dive you. Like, look what's gonna happen here. This dude's hiding behind a rock, so he'll sur- Maybe not? Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, okay. They- they absolutely- If you shoot them down, they 100% land on top of you. Like, they try to dive you. It's ridiculous. It's beautiful. This cat. Cat be digging. Oh no. <laughs> Hulk Scorchers with their 50% fire damage buff. Dude, they're disgusting right now. Like, you don't... To be fair, they're this. They should be scary, but they're really scary. <laughs> According to the developer in Discord, Slugger was nerfed because it was hands down the best sniper rifle in the game. Yeah, yeah, that was that was why it was at least at least what I've seen from the developers. That was why it was nerfed, which is a good thing. It needed to be changed, uh, but it definitely could use some alternate weapons that perform in that role. They didn't need a buff. They already chased divers around the map. That is true. But I don't mind them being terrifying. After I bought tank tracks, the outer cannon. Yes. Um, I've seen it. I don't do so. But... Tibbet is the most important planet in the system. Ever the bot planet is harder to liberate as long as Tibbet is on the board. Probably true, but only because Joel says so. Oh lord have mercy. This is this is not a good situation to be in. It's so pretty. I like the cape. I still like, I still like the mess. I went to my level on Kareek and all I got was his lousy cape. <laughs> uh. Wait. 
Why are there 16 confirmed Illuminate kills on Earth? I think that's here. I don't know if I can... I don't, I don't think that's on this website. There's another one. Okay. Silly so Hold Dive, Automaton, Zero Deaths, AEO. Now that feels good. Now that feels really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, team. Of course, man's at uh, full rich everything. Sounds about right. Imagine being fat like you and having two, three follow me around. <laughs> just having two flamethrowers follow you around is... It doesn't matter if you're fat or not. Like, that's just uh, deeply unpleasant. All of it's bad. All of it's really bad. Greek. Like the new crayons. No, don't eat the crayons. The perspective scares you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people prefer the uh, third person, first person view rather than the asymmetric top down kind of perspective. It's just different. I will say it is very good. I can understand it is not exactly, it is not the same kind of game that Helldivers 1 as Helldivers 1, but it is very good. In light armor, you fashion them. Y y yes, but if you get chased by multiple of them, you can't go near them, like uh, at all. Like, if there's one of them, you can do the run around and shoot it in the back. If there's two of them, you can't do that because the second one shoots you, or you know, gives you the chainsaw. But yes, you are correct. In light armor, you do have the option to just run away. The Tibbet Ribbits. Oh god. That is such a beautiful name. Battle of Cyberstand Colorized. It's funny because it's true. Wow. See fancy I could shoot at your gunships? It can. It's very good at it too, for the record. I watched this thing get spawn killed. Gives you a buzz cut? Yes, yes it does. Have we seen a gunship get spawn killed? So it only takes one of those things to shoot it down. Pretty reliably too, unlike the uh, the bot drop ships, which don't. Sea fans here just got a huge bump. Dude, the thing was already amazingly powerful. Like, it was nice, especially if you got two of them on the board, because then they just took, they cleaved the skies. Uh. Mm hmm. <laughs> My strategy is do something. <laughs> oh no. Alright. It looks like. What? I'm sorry. I've not seen this before. Excuse me, sir. We heard the new uh, Jonathan Young How Divers theme song. I have. I have. It's very good. I like it. Illuminate Sniper. We don't talk about them. A lot of useless samples. It is a lot of useless samples, yes. A lot of useless samples. <laughs> oh, good lord. This is... This is... Sounds a bit... This is so relatable. This post, this one right here? Alright, well, I'll link it in the Discord for you. There you go. 
It's in the, uh, it's in the Deep Dark Dive channel. New patch announced. Apparently, these strategies are too fast; it doesn't register them. I was wondering, I was because I'm pretty certain I've done that to myself. That's why you carry your Punisher. Yeah, actually, I've been running the Bolter recently. Uh, it's, it's got a buff, and I've been—it's just been so good. That's what happens during the Save the Scientist mission. The map is much smaller, but has the same number of samples, so they group up like that. Makes sense. I've never had a good opportunity to go to uh, exploring too much. I mean, I've done some exploring, but I've never actually seen that kind of density in it. I mean, the most I've seen is five commons together. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I saw him do a double input there. No. No, I didn't. Never mind. What was the internet? Uh, it's not stable yet, is how it goes. That is a lot of automaton in one place. Guys, the hacking begins already. Like the actual... These actual... Uh, the actual deep hacks. Hmm... Also kept me in the Discord, Ayo. I uh, will be jumping back in the game here. Hopefully shortly. I'm noticing that the bit rate's slowly climbing again. Slowly. So next five minutes or so I suspect. Vandalon 4. Mm-hmm. You hate Devastators, Hulks, and the new gunships. Am I a joke to you? No, you're just very slow. <laughs> Dude, the new gunships. I... Ah, man. They're so hard. They are easy enough to deal with, but I find randoms are near categorically incapable of dealing with them. Like, I... I've mentioned it before. That is so many eyeballs staring at staring at you, dude. Fifty-seven in a single airstrike. Oh, it's so pretty. <clears throat> Games already done to be harmless fun. I mean, realistically, people aren't doing it for the purpose of like messing with other people for the most part. Um, most of the big time, uh, the, the big hacks around games like this are because they can. There is some degree of fun trying to solve the puzzle, I'm going to call it. Trying to solve the enigma. It's like a game. How do you get in past the system? When it comes to, when it comes to the anti-cheat on this game in particular, it's not that difficult. Um... There are multiple ways of getting through it, from what I have seen. Um, I do not do it myself. I've seen, let me rephrase, I've seen multiple different systems being sold claiming to do so, using different vulnerabilities. Therefore, it seems that it is credibly vulnerable, as I have seen the results of these hacks actually in-game, so I know they work. 
and eventually when you have a system it is very rare that when you have a system that is as hackable or as vulnerable as this game is that someone doesn't solve the puzzle to such a substantial degree that it becomes a problem um We've seen it with Apex Legends, for example, in recent times, where there was a big hack. It's like, oh no, I could just have stuff run on your game clients. Ah, like obviously uh, we don't know the full extent as to how it was, but it seems to be extremely extensive. We're talking like someone hacking their way into having server side stuff, which is really bad. Um, so. I don't, I don't know how far they're taking it. Obviously, I'm not that up to date. I'm not the hacker themselves. Um, from what I've seen, it seems to be pretty bad, and it's only a matter of time before someone finds something like actually destructive about it. Why do you need to hack in this game? You don't. Now, there's not a lot of hackers in this game. There's no real reason to. Um, you have some people that just want to feel good, so they just like put themselves somewhere to aimbot their way in just to watch the number go up, because people like watching number go up. Um, I've seen people that just don't want to do progressions, so they just load into a game, hack their way to having everything unlocked, and then that's just it. Uh, the big the big problem with hacking isn't that there's hackers in the game, it's that the game is vulnerable in a way that could potentially lead to other people being vulnerable. Um, that That is my concern. So I don't... I don't know what else is going on here. Like, um, we have already seen hacks that can get other people banned. Like, you join in a lobby, and the guy who's the host just uses his own game client to give you an item that gets you banned. That is already a thing. So you have to be careful. Every time I have encountered two hackers in the past... It's about once a week with all the hours. Like, I've got like 270 hours. And I've encountered two hackers which were purposefully giving out equipment and such to people. I managed to get out before they got to me because I wasn't the first one who got it. Somebody else got it, so I just dipped before it gave it to me. But it is possible for hackers to do that. And it is possible for hackers to do that in a way that you get your account banned. Like, insta-banned, like automatically banned. It is, so it, we're already at the point where hackers have found ways to injure other people for just for the fun of it. So I don't... It's a problem. It is a problem. And it's until they fix it, it's going to be... going to be a rough time. Potentially a rough time. And that's what I'm concerned about. Because it's only a matter of said time before uh, someone figures out a... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, riding the bull. Oh, boy. Did not see that one coming. But yeah, it is only a matter of time before someone uh, gets deep into there. <clears throat> At least that guy did it and in their way to help the devs in the Reddit post. Yes, it's just hopefully they listen because there's just a chance that someone else is going to figure it out. It's going to be a problem. At least it lasted eight seconds. They did. Uh The fun thing is anti-cheats and similar software vastly increase the attack surface and potential damage a malware hacker can do. If they get in, now they're at kernel privileges. Yep. Yep. Although it is quite rare that the anti-cheats are a, a, a way to get defeated in a way that gives access so much as defeated in a way that invalidates it entirely. Apparently host left the lobby. Yeah, probably got AFK'd. Which is not a surprise given my internet is still dying, and I've been sitting here on Reddit for a while. I'm okay with this. They're having illegal raves when they should be working. <laughs> oh, the farm. Yet Growth has so many of them. Eh. Yeah, that's an upper tier farm. It's not massive, but... This one. This one, though. 57. It's so tasty. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, so satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Justice. I mean, the shield did that before. And that's not... That's not new. But it is, you know, nice to see people using it. Okay. If you're wrong, just like spreading it. We can scroll back up here. He didn't show how to do the hacks or whatnot. He was just mentioning that he found a, a hack in the system and told it to the devs and explained the depth of it briefly. He didn't actually, he didn't actually uh, send a support ticket showcasing, which probably included a video in a, in a support ticket. So that's that's a a private thing straight to the devs, and he's hoping to inform the devs. Oh hey, this is a problem, and oh hey, uh, you've got a lot of problems. So no, he didn't actually show off how to do it. My carrier shield implant is made of rocks. Hey, that's someone who understands. Did it run on possible today? Other three guys did the mission to get the scientists to safety. Ran around the map and found the super samples. Had to get past two tanks at four holes to extract. Understandable, understandable. Anti-democratic thought. What? I see nothing anti-democratic about this. Oh, is he gonna fly? Oh. Yeah, okay. I see. Uh, let's not. I mean, yes, but not. <laughs> Bot drop detected. Oops, all tanks! <laughs> you remember? 11 tanks on screen. Eleven tanks on screen. Oh my god. A bunch of tanks, sure. Just as many dreads. Oh no. They are uh, a little bit different, yeah. The ultimate EMP mortar strat. What have you done? Oh, he put it on top of the tank. Look at it. It's chilling on top of the tank. The tank can't kill it if it's on top of the tank. Server issues again? No, no server issues. Uh, it, I mean, I guess technically server issues, but not Helldive server issues. No, uh, Comcast server issues. Happens. Serious bitrate issues. Um, obviously it works fine. You guys can... Uh, let me rephrase. Obviously it works enough that you guys could hear me. And if I'm doing something like browsing a web page, then it, um, bitrate doesn't get too crunchy. So you guys can see. But if I do something rapid moving like any video gaming whatsoever, the entire thing comes crumbling down. It's also why I'm not scrolling quickly. <laughs> you see, I can understand this. Having a well-coordinated team, team that can move seamlessly through operations, that's generally what I prefer to do. Or suppose being engrossed in a survival horror situation, your team drops like zero fl drops like flies, zero reinforcements left, and you're being relentlessly pursued by six charges for battle titans. I mean, you have to put yourself in that situation, but yes. I can finish the op. Yes, 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 Icicle. I intend to finish the op with the crew. Then I rotate out with some more people. This is me all still around. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. There are just so many samples, man. Vandalone 4 is on the cusp, on the brink. Hey, yeah, look at this. We will, at this current rate, we'll succeed in 4 hours 28 minutes, but we'll fail in 4 hours 50 minutes. Like, it's, it's close, and it's only going to get closer. All right, well, good news. It looks like the stream has finally restabilized after an hour. Uh, so we're going to hop back into it. Big shock. And uh, while we're at it, where is. Hey, so we're going to hop back in, guys. Final F4 is so close. Yes, very close. It could certainly go either way. So we did get some uh, alerts. Huh. Uh, apparently I had a issue with Streamlabs. Streamlabs crashed like entirely. Something has happened to Streamlabs. Um, give me a minute. Yeah, it's failing to connect to... It's failing to connect. Which makes it very difficult to show off Collage's notifications. Um, okay, give me a moment. <laughs> so you hear the automated voice go berserk. Ah! Uh, well, it's supposed to be right now, but it seems to be suffering. Give me a second. working now. Hey, Warning. there's one. Clear launch detected. So we have Kalijah dropping the support. Thank you, thank you. There's, there it is. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yep. Bet you saw that one coming. All right then. Uh, let's see. Is Ken still here? All right. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Let us cleanse the galaxy of alien scum. And didn't get the fingers just question. Yeah, it doesn't know how to read that. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, we f f didn't get mission completion. Oh, the op is gone. I'm so sad. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, it looks like Ken's AFK. Or at least not 
immediately responding. So we do have an open slot in the lobby if you guys want to come and join. Not doing an extricate mission. As fun as it is. Gonna do one, alright. So if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. It looks like Ken is not currently online, or at least not visible to me, which is doesn't mean much. Hey, Walloper. Did we up finger like it were like before? I'm not. I genuinely don't know. Like it's scuffed. Oh yeah, Ken's out for the night. <clears throat> Alrighty, have a good night there, Ken and Elia. Good luck out there. Let's see if we can't save Vandalon War. It says not a lot. It's literally in your lobby. Yeah, I know. It's it's scuffy. It's real scuffy. I'm just going to keep rolling the Dominator today. We'll just do a Dominate day. Um, one, two. I'll roll Auk Thrower again. That was effective. Even if I didn't end up with it at the end. Ammo, and we go. <coughs> uh, Kalaja, did you want to join us tonight? You're gonna have an open slot or two at the end of this. I do love this chess piece, by the way. Like the uh, pre order chess piece. I'm gonna try this loadout. Uh, ooh, okay. So there's a bug right now where uh, gas and fire does not work, like at all. Um, if you are not host, it just doesn't work. Just across the board. Um, for the most part, like technically it works for a few things, but... Just expect it to not function. Uh, I'll land up here real quick. This will be my home. I live here now. I'll put you here. You here. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we've we've got four slots, but we'll have two slots opening up after this one. This is a 15-minute one that usually doesn't last 15 minutes, and then we'll pull you in. Sound good, Kalaja? Did the arc thrower do that? Uh. All right, um... Our door doesn't shoot that far. I'm pretty certain I'm, our door is not doing that. Our door is definitely not doing that. Ow! I die. Oh, this is much better. All right. Warning: nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch. Beautiful shots. All right. I guess that doesn't Let's go up here. Left pointing arrow up, pointing arrow down, pointing arrow hey. right, pointing arrow down, pointing arrow down, pointing arrow left up down, right down down. There it is. We got it working now. Uh, C4 might get... Oh, that was a beautiful throw. Stuck it right at the top of him. 
guys get over here, yeah? Alright. All right. Eagle one, give me give me shots on those targets, please. Ow. Y'all could use a grenade. Nice grenade throw. Come on, land that headshot, thank you. No grenade, please. Thank you. Blow out its backside. And beautiful grenade. Eh. Better grenade. Alrighty. Um, how far away is that? Too far. How far away is? Things tend to not land over there. There we go. Ow. Alright, so something happened. Y'all aren't up here anymore. Tank. Yeah, that probably explains the whole... Probably explains the whole you guys not being up here anymore situation. Unfortunately, Icicle is heading toward my mortar, which means mortar is going to get bullied. That makes me unhappy. Where did I hit that? Mortar's fine. Mortar is indeed fine. I'm a little out of ammo here. And stratagems for that matter. They're standing very still, which makes headshots easy. Oh lord, have mercy. I don't like standing up. Not here. But that mortar is MVP right now. Oh my lord. Craig! You hit me with the gas! It does work versus players. <laughs> they go for the nuclear drill. Hey yo, bug breach. Or bug pull exterminator. Uh, this is out of bounds, isn't it? No. Not a good place to be, though. That's unfortunate. Get you over here. Are those hulks? No. But there are also a lot of them. Yeah. That's some great damage. My god, there's so many. Holy automaton. Unholy violence. It walks toward us. That's just an incredible amount of HP just trundling our direction. Alright, um, we should be able to... Ooh. Should be able to clear this out, given enough time. Oh, ow. And we can all walk on, I was gonna say. <clears throat> At this point, it looks like it's just gonna be best to reinforce ourselves on top of it and hold the line into row well here. Oh, hey, you got it off. And it's probably not a bad position either. Okay, well, we're gonna hang out not near the landing pad then. Uh oh. Uh, you know, I was tempted to land on the thing, but there's a whole heap load of anger behind it. It's an eagle airstrike. Six seconds, be fine. Or not. Oh, 
All right, sweet. We should be able to just waltz our way into victory here. Team. There's not much left. EMP motor coming in clutch. Samples? I personally don't care. I mean, it's only like five of them. Or five more of them. But it is clean, so we can just go do so. Uh, I don't actually know where they are on this map. I haven't memorized this one. Hmm. Here well as well, I presume that. Got it in the face with the arc. Is that a sample over there blinking at me? No, it's a dead Hulk. Alright. Moving on. <clears throat> 10 out of 13 is probably the best we're going to get without combing intensely. soon, but this is fine too. Oh, we're gonna leave one behind. Oh no. Craig, why? He's right next to us, just like 60 meters away. Yes! That is how Zoom works. Alright, so we're going to have a couple slots open in the lobby, and we'll be able to get some players, some of you guys in. Uh, Kalijah is ready to go, so we'll pull him in now. We can get mess up the metal. Yeah, yeah. Rip metals. Man, just scuff. It happens. Rip Walloper. Rip C4. Alrighty then. Uh, good kills. Let's get Kalasia in here. Why do I not see you on the friends? The friends list is just so many flavors of scuffed. <sighs> Allied destroyer has left squadron. How do I not have your own friends on Steam? We've done for so long. Alright, um, I've added you on Steam. I'll get you in here. And. You need plus one? We do need plus one, right? Hop on in. Uh, yeah, I've got it. I've got the voice lobby set to uh, one way because I just gotta save my voice. So I'm keeping voicing to a minimum. Um, but I can open it up for now. There we 
go. You should be able to unmute now. Welcome in, Ray. I'm gonna join, but you're not good at this game. Hey, you know, the only way to get good is to practice. The only way to practice is to play. Can't unmute. That's unexpected. Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Alright, try now. Rhino is able to unmute. Hello? Hello. Still says suppressed. That's not true. Do you have an unsuppress button? I've manually unsuppressed you. Oh, but, there we go. Okay, I think... Uh, it, I didn't have to... Okay. Problem solved. Yes. Problem solved. Yeah. Just a waiting invite to your destroyer. I have already sent invite. Um, did you nope. not get it? No, I was busy dealing on your Discord. Alright. Let's try this again. I no longer see you on... Did you accept Steam invite? Uh, no. I did not see the Steam invite because I was dealing with Discord. <laughs> Alright. It should be there waiting for you. Uh, slot Center, uh, if you are listening in, uh, we already have the, four the fourth slot is spoken for, so I will have to send you out. Okay, have accepted friend in anyway. So, for some reason, I don't see you online. <laughs> uh, welcome to... Welcome to how this works recently. I accepted your invite, but it is not even showing you on my friends list yet. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's send you this invite. You should be able to get in. Yeah, it's it's, it's not been updating recently, so I just manually send it out. Let's see if that works for you. Receiving data. There we go. The laptop can't run this game at all. Understandable. Understandable. And then only like 800 medals. Yeah, the free the free pass. It's got a lot of stuff. It's so worth it. All right, welcome in. Level 40. Nice. Love to see it. Yeah, I was almost caught up to you. Uh, your in-game is speaking as well. We're getting double voice. I will fix that. Fixed. <laughs> Made them talk. Yes, yes, I've been convinced for now. Just I've been doing a lot of casting, a lot of streaming recently, so I can feel it in my voice. I'm trying to minimize it by not and talking as much. Teleport. Thus, less conversation. You're not sucked into League or all the mods 9. Dude, all the mods. It really does have all the mods. What is it? I still love watching people play through my own minecraft map because it's beautifully well done and only leaves mild trauma it's only a mildly traumatizing experience Alright, we're landing. 
40 minutes and counting. Right, we've killed the infantry, so we won't get orbital. We won't get called down here. However, ow! There are plenty of mortars landing on us, which is some level of unsatisfying. Where are they? Where are they coming from? Uh, west. Got it. I'm taking out that cannon. Uh, I just got flared. I killed the flarer, but... Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop dropship is still incoming. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that, because killing the dropship doesn't actually kill the things in the dropship. So we still get murdered anyways. Cannon's gone. Yeah, those hulks that were in the dropship are now chasing me, which is unsurprising, given the context. And they're made out of flamethrower, which is largely unpleasant. Another one. shooting. Uh, I'm pretty certain there's another patrol walking up from the prime. Oh no, I think that's just, just guards. Never mind. Never mind. Roll there. Well thrown. There what? No, Ryan is dead. Hulk incoming. Alright, what am I looking at over here? Got a tower there, which I cannot currently see. Question mark? I can. I got the terminal. Okay. The prime I using Dominator? Yeah, Dominator. Get it? Chris, you got a whole kind. Yeah, they like to do that. Ow. Alright. Blew out its backside. It's done. I'm out of ammo. Okay, well. Alright, sweet. Moving on. Ryan was taking that out, so I'm gonna go this way. Another artillery. Looks like we've just got a bunch of mundane automaton madness here. <clears throat> it's so much fun enjoying it a lot with your friend. He's doing your base like a like a scale Elden Ring castle, and you're like, you'll do the auto the automation and uh, tech stuff. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a good time. Um, Y'all know me; I'm a big fan of the automation stuff. I will absolutely automate the fun out of a game, but making things look pretty, I'll leave that to someone who's a little bit more architecturally oriented. An Elden Ring castle, though, that sounds impressive. In terms of primaries, I'm still convinced that Scorcher is the toppest tier, but Dominator is really good. Like really good. No, I missed the I missed the shot. Ow! All right, it's time for me to leave. Yeah, with the Dominator buff, it's now I'm gonna say at probably on par with the Scorcher. Can Dominator delay my hulks? I don't think so. I haven't actually tried. I'm pretty certain it didn't. It's buff 
didn't give it any extra armor pens, so it shouldn't be able to deal them hulks, but... Got a bot drop over in your direction, Curses. Yeah, I, I left it off in the corner. Ow. What, who triggered that? Uh, C4 is... Uh, what's the question? You can auto cannon shredders from the front? Uh, to me. not you... really, no? I mean, you could hit mm, the tracks. I, I can quasar them. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Like, you can hit their treads. Gun mantle. Okay, I'll try it. Gun mantle. Okay. That's news to me. Mantle, pens, shredder, gun mantle. That is news to me, and amazing news at that. Good thing, guys. I'm used to having to deal with a lot of those. Alright, sweet. Shooting at me, yo, right. Love to see it. Flamethrower. Hell bomb in the thing right there in Curses. Hmm? The hell bomb oh, in the yeah, hill okay. next to you. I, yeah, I see it, thank you. Just, yeah, don't wish I accidentally hit it. Uh, yeah, that's a whole patrol walking up. Walking up that corner. They're a little bit distracted by being frozen, but... Oh! I am it. Flare is on me. Definitely a rocket devastator. Ah, oh, boy. Um, I've got no stratagems here. Okay, I am cornered, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I tried to do so many things, none of them worked. Dominant does look that much better. Eh, it's kind of hard to feel it. Um, a lot of the it it it's really hard to feel. And the difference is not obvious um, because it always it always two shot. It didn't change any real breakpoints from what I feel. It always just two shot the devastators to the face. Now it does the same thing still. Um, for a lot of the smaller bots, it was between one and two shots. Uh, now it's always one shot. That one's that one feels good. Are we uh, eliminating that patrol? Well, that's up to you guys if you're feeling, feeling need to eliminate it. That's kind of inconvenient. I don't know. We can go around the side of the lake. I was just thinking you're the closest one to it, so it's your call. <laughs> uh, it's also not anywhere near where we need to be, so I'm leaving. Fair enough. That's in the slugger nerf. And now they're coming back. I think yeah. the slugger nerf was not well done because it's still the best, one of, if not the best, sniper in the game. Second patrol? Um, but I do think the slugger needed a nerf, and I think this is not, it's not in a good place right now, but, you know, it's better than it was, I suppose. Behind us. Um, 
The slugger is still a very good weapon. Like a top tier weapon by virtue of being basically the best sniper in the game. You prefer uh, diligence over slugger? You see, I don't prefer the diligence over slugger. And the reason for that is the slugger is capable of dealing with close range targets. Uh, the diligence really isn't. But the slugger is capable of dealing with long range targets. And it still hits all those juicy breakpoints, like wiping out ooh, creatures in one shot. And it still has great stagger. So it's... It's fine. The slugger doesn't feel weak. And it's still a top tier sniper. DMR type weapon. You don't like its scope? No, you see that's fair enough. Like, it, this, the slugger doesn't have what I would describe as a scope. It just has, you know, the red dot sight thingy on it. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not good for notably long ranges. Which is also fine. But I also tend to, to do sniper things with the red dot sight. I can run in Dominator hitting targets at 75 meters oftentimes. The Dominator's got the projectile velocity of a snowball. So... That's a thing to consider. 75 minute scope and diligence pairs so well with Adder Cannon. That it does. Uh, the the, uh, the scope is nice on the diligence. It's got a really, like, an actually really good snow. If you had to give one tip of constantly clearing rank 9, what would it be? Um, the problem with clearing a rank 9 is it's not, a, it's not a one trick tip to clear rank 9. It's a series of of tiny decisions to make the difference um <clears throat> one tip would be think tactically that's probably the best tip i can give which i understand is a bit ambiguous kind of cop-out answer um, the reason for that is because it encompasses the necessary thought process uh, with rank 9, bots or bugs, but especially bots. You get punished for making tactical mistakes. It's, oh no, I got seen. Why? I got seen when I didn't need to be seen. Um, I shot the front of a tank when I didn't need to shoot the front of the tank. You get punished for that kind of stuff on... Uh, you get punished for that kind of stuff on difficulty 9. You don't get punished for that stuff on... Why? I'm not anywhere near these things. Uh, you don't get punished for that stuff in lower difficulties. Lower difficulties, you can just turn the brain off. Just commit uh, one ton of violence and just don't care. Higher difficulties? Oh no. I didn't take out all of these infantry within three seconds. So one gets a flare off. And... I see this is a mistake here. I didn't shoot this one. I didn't see this one. And if it flared me, then I would have three tanks and I would have three tanks dropping in my position. Which I can't handle. I will let me rephrase. I can handle it, but not in any reasonable amount of time. And within that time frame, an entire other patrol would spawn and hunt me down. Does that make sense? As I get about 30 seconds and to be in any one location before patrol walks through to inspect my location. And a patrol includes, you know, a big heavy tank, uh, some more infantry, which can call down other infantry among some medium units, which are things like the cyclone, rocket pod, and such. So if I'm staying in one point... Okay, well... So if I'm right, doing things up. like... Uh, not taking advantage of tactical superiority. And I'm in trouble. Big trouble. So you have to, at all points in time. See, there's another patrol walking in there, because I've been hanging around this area for too long. I'm gonna have to take out both of them. I'm gonna snipe this guy before he gets aggroed and starts flaring and calling in support. Okay, R's got that, I'm gonna get, get out. I'm gonna go back for the pod after we kill this jammer. Right. Um, what do you mean pod? Escape pod? Is that another patrol? That reeks of another patrol. 
That looks like another patrol. Uh, yeah, I've been here way too long. Well, hello there, Asquare 52. Welcome in. I'm going to clear this guy out. It's just about time to leave. As we have more hostility over there. Conveniently shaped chest high wall. What are what are you over here, sir? Infantry. Of limited time before they start flaring. There's so many cyclones over here, and that's another devastator blocking from this side. It is, however, not a separate patrol. Oh, where'd, where'd it go? Did it just. It stepped on an explosive. Okay, not something you see every day, but I guess I can't complain too hard. up its arm. See, there's another patrol that just spawned out there. In line of sight, but over there nonetheless. Let's see if I can check this out. Right. The floor is less than corp less than visible. I gotta go. I can't be here. All right, so now I now I'm gonna get myself into a death spiral if I stay there for too long. So I just gotta go. Try the medic armor. I have the medic armor is very good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going around here and clearing out these these outside outside dudes. And the reason for that is these outside dudes, the guard ones, they like to call in the uh, they like to call in bot drops. They like to call in for friends. So if I clear them out before we start any major engagement, then they won't be around to call in friends. Following for years, best YouTube. I'm glad you enjoy. We'll be here for as long as we can manage, yeah? Deliver some democracy to Pandora. Oh no. Why are you like this? Yeah, you know, the the medic armor is uh Medic armor is quite good. Comes highly recommended. But the light medic is toppest tier. Now, I'm pretty certain I did a partial clear of this already. And we did get flared, which is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave behind a laser and go. Alright, you have a good one out there, Craig. Catch you later. Alright, so I could see on the map that those creatures that were present on the facility are still present because they just respawned. Alright, good to know. We have this group here hanging out. There's another one here. Nope. So those things have... Oh, he looks unhappy with me. Nope. He's lost. Lost in the blizzard. Alright, so these things have not despawned. And I think the reason for that is because it's the big ones. And the small creatures always despawn before the big creatures. But I'm going to run this anyways. Alright, so you are a threat. You are a threat. You are not so much of a threat. Or move you anyways. Shoot anything. Oh. Now, if you can't see enough to shoot anything, the bots can't see enough to shoot anything either. Oh, which they're is still almost shooting at true. Us, <laughs> You're hitting the rock in front of you, dude. <laughs> C4. Where is this lamp? Alright, 
There are creatures heading this way. At least it looks nice, it does. I'm gonna come over here, blow us out from here, hopefully without angering that crew over there. Oh, those are done. There we go. Imagine if you could freeze it a blizzard. Oh no. And get those uh, survival game mechanics in. Just like lamps, I have a great hatred for lamps. Um, yeah, that's a whole patrol over here. I have to deal with it. Alright. Let's throw you over here. Beautifully placed. I'm coming to help you on curses. That's what the auto cannon is for. The answer is for everything. Excuse me, sir. These walls do not are not what these walls look like. Uh is that another patrol approaching? That is a whole other patrol approaching. This one with multiple heavies. Nice shot. Well, that's unfortunate. Nice shot. Landed in the wrong spot. Uh, the pressing one. button. Oh, ho, hello. Gotcha. All I saw was an arm and it launched a rocket at me. <clears throat> yeah, light medic armor. Yeah, the light medic armor is the toppest of tier. It is, it feels good and it's powerful, which is about the best you can hope for in most cases. I just got headshot by a rocket launcher. Can you reinforce again? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, somebody else already got it. Going for the door. Oh, you already got it. More bots coming in from the north. Multiple hulks. Mm. I gotta be careful here. Nailed it. Press the button again. Oh, the Hulk seemed frozen on the hill for some reason. I have no inclination of changing that. Makes <laughs> sense. Going for the <sighs> other door. Alrighty. Nice and stabilized. Yeah, they're going <sighs> shot and stuck. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, that, ha that happens a lot. Especially with the bots. Bot farm? Hmm, yeah. They all amalgamate in the center. Alright, so mm -hmm. that should be the last button press. We should be good to go. Okay. And we've got supplies all around. Oh, yeah, it's omniscient, so that's, you don't have to worry about it. It's on mm -hmm. the far side of history over there. It's over where those frozen ones are. Mm -hmm. Grab some resupply and head toward extract. Four of them. Five of them. Wow. Yeah, that's... They just keep coming. I think the most I've seen is ten? They just, like, keep coming. So, yeah, if you get bot drops, the solution 90% of the time is just don't be there. Uh, I'm just following you at this point. Consider me your heavy weapon backup. That works for me. I know it works. Hello there. I'm just clearing out some uh, remnant anger. Alright, I think C4 still got the um, the super samples. I know you don't need them, but I sure do. Uh, here, amalgamate for us. Click.
Alright, so I will start the extract, but obviously we don't want to start engaging until necessary. Understood. What? Okay. Ooh, 17 Mercy, that's nice. I'm being a loop goblin. Understandable. Alright. So I don't care how they get out. Here we go. There's all I see. Extra auto cannon here if anyone wants. Looks like we're set up to go loud here, so that'll do it. We're loud. Fire at will. What do we got coming around the corner? Uh, big stuff. Hulks. Hulk. Hulk. Multiple Hulk. <laughs> Nice, nice cancel on the flare, but that does mean we're about to get flared anyways. Nice shot. Anything else really big that needs a rail cannon on it? Uh, yeah, there's multiple hulks coming around the corner. Arkham, <laughs> missed that flare. See rocket to the stairs. There you go. Somebody right, grab the sample. Seconds left. Ooh. Got the samples. Just get on as soon as possible. It's a beautiful, beautifully satisfying uh, I'm on. <laughs> the light of a lit democracy. That's so many laser beams. Well done, well done. Clean mission. Yeah. Love that. <clears throat> I still don't have Hell Dive actually unlocked yet. Ah, you should get it unlocked here. If not, well, you, so it doesn't unlock until the uh, the final of the campaign. So after the group of three. You should move up a level, and it'll only move you up one level. So like if you do, if you complete Hell Dive here, if you don't have eight unlocked, you'll unlock eight. Yeah, I have eight unlocked. I just don't have nine. Ah, okay. Well, you should Good get it job, here, guys. Well, clear. Uh, we lost one. That was uh, Captain. <laughs> when the bots uh, cross their arms, cover their mouths, they are radioing nearby patrol, aren't they? Yes, uh, a better description of the animation is typing onto a pad on their wrists. But yes, they are radioing in for a patrol. What they do is they type a pad on their wrists and then shoot a flare up into the air. So if you, sh if you gun them down before they actually launch the flare, then the patrol... In other words, they have to do their stratagems too. Yes, actually. I find that hilarious. I mean, they are human traitors. We're human traitors. They've given up their lives for socialists' automaton. Right, so we have actually one slot in the lobby. I'm not sure if Walloper's coming back, but... I don't, I don't know if he's in chat. He's not on the Discord with us. But he is welcome to join. Uh, he did rejoin. Alright, just crash and choose. So this is the third mission in the campaign. Alright. Coming in. For the light of democracy. It was very pretty. Alright, um, oh, Lord have mercy, we're dropping extract here. 
work our way across. All right. How do they insta flare? They don't insta flare. I'm gonna ask what you mean by insta flare. Define insta flare. A horrifying map layout it really is you see you're gonna immediately pop a uh, bot drop flare i mean if the bot drop is on cool or off cooldown just the first infantry that sees you will attempt to flare so yeah that's why we always get flared at the beginning because it's off cooldowns we land the first infantry that sees us which is generally uh, pretty quick and just flares us All right, uh, so it looks like we have some anger to the north on extracts. Is that an ATAT? Uh, market? No. All right, I'm ready to go loud. That's a good start. I don't know if I got the flare. I didn't get it in time. Uh, so that's going to be at extract. Which means I'm not going to be at extract. Died. Okay, you did. Alright. ATAT? -AT? <laughs> what is new to the bots? Uh, yes, ATAT. -AT. Straight up, like straight out of Star Wars, drops infantry out of its belly level ATAT. -AT. It is, um, quite difficult to manage, in all honesty. That is at least if you intend to blow it up. It's it's nearly indestructible by virtue of having a um, health bar the size of God. But aside from that, I got the terminal. I get behind that hole, Corey. She just took it out. Uh, look across the desert and I see nothing. All right. Sam's site far. Flying bugs? Yes, they're full. Oh, that was a mistake. I did not pay attention to what was behind the target I was shooting at. Because
because what was behind the target was a heap load of anger. Uh, which means that it's time to not be here. Science facility. Alright, let's start taking this out. As the artillery comes for us. Oh, this is bad. It's, this is no longer bad. Let's go. Yeah, the, the flying bugs are just like ripped straight out of Starship Troopers, which I think is perfect. Just took its entire leg off. Come on, get that shot. Thank you. I just wanted the headshot. Um, yeah, here we go. Alright. I'm inside the floor. Alright, what am I looking at here? Uh, I'm telling you about to take up the mortars. Uh, yes, yep, we're taking got out it right before my shot went off. <laughs> um, I got it. This thing is inconveniently placed. I'm gonna just. The there we go. Oh, that's two for two. Half a second before my shot goes off. Patrol directly in front of us. And we're getting pinned here. We're gonna have to either fight our way out or leave. Very quickly. We're kinda yeah, grouped together. Oh, which makes the whole which makes the whole experience quite difficult. going in for samples. Do it. Range of enemy artillery. I know, right? It doesn't stop. Yeah. Wish they didn't feel the need to tell you every three seconds. A little bit, yeah. It would be nice if it was just like once on entry and that was about it. Uh, beautiful throw. <laughs> that not hit it. The game just gets more fun every day. It really does. Which is an impressive thing for them to do. It's sniper time. One of them down. Where is this thing coming? Okay. Take its face off. There is a tiny dude in here. It's a problem. Multiple, it would seem. Right, what are we looking at over here? What What is this? Uh, we Hello? have artillery over here, if that's what you're asking about. Oh, there's a dude with a rocket launcher just shooting the wall. Um, however, that artillery would be great if it wasn't currently shooting at me. Uh, you guys are working on it. Let's see, you gotta go down. They're not nice, you? Uh, we're gonna have to backfill this. No. 
<laughs> Dominator's dominating the patch did much love. It really did. I don't know why they buffed it. It was at a great state before, but... I'm, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Ow. Order's done. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, patrol here. Moving on. Yeah, waiting patrol here. We've got patrols for days. Slip sliding on the ice. Another patrol here. Just gonna ignore that. <sighs> Walloper's gonna have a harder time ignoring that. I think he's not in stealth armor. He may have to stop moving entirely. Need to be mindful, or else, because if I engage this here, they're gonna get very suspicious and start taking you guys out. Also, side effect if we stop moving for 30 seconds, we're coming up on that time. Another one's gonna step all over us. Only downside to Dominator is it's fun to unload it and you run out of ammo. This is true! It does have some ammo economy issues, but not that many. Alright, should be good to go. Alright. are all over there. They're all straight and direct and rushing. Love when they change the incendiary breaker. But the uh, arc thrower, you're beautiful. What they did to him. Dude, it is so good now. Like, we almost we almost made, I don't want to say deathless, but we almost made it clean through a uh, bot point hold. Just arc throwers. The arc thrower is so good now. I definitely like the stagger on it, I just can't hit much with it, unfortunately. Yeah, it does have some targeting issues, that's for sure. But those aren't new. Are we getting flared? No. Whoop. I just came around the corner for a patrol. Uh, yep. Uh, let's run this at the Hulk. this here. Should have done great work. Looks like it did. Engaging terminal. Right. I was looking over there, you're fine. There's another patrol approaching from over here. They look somewhat displeased with life. Mm, correct. <sighs> Accepting new <laughs> helldivers is squad full. We're school we're full for the moment. Uh we will be getting some new people in here tunnel. soon. Lunch out of it. Actually, this is like the first mission we've gone through with this group, so. Oh, I will actually be dropping out after this, so ah. there will be a slot open. Alright. I promised my friend I'd go play with it. Sounds good to me. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to have at least one run with you. I'm always happy to have you around, you know that. <sighs> I enjoy running people through. Lord knows I'll do this quick play if I got no one else. He's stuck in place, so I'm just going to ignore him. But he's not happy about being stuck in place, that's for sure. They don't need the, mo the game to be expensive because the game is so popular, yes. Which is a good thing. Make good game, make more money. I know, right? The way it should be. Just wish yes. we could drill that through the thick skulls of corporate execs. <laughs> you see, I don't much care. I've stopped caring about... Like triple A games years ago. I just don't even pay attention to them. It's just not worth it. It's a waste of time. If anything, it's actually becoming negative. I see triple A title and I'm like, eh. Yeah. It's like, but this game is so fun. It's like, dude, you have Stockholm Syndrome. 
I'm just, I got better things to do with my life. Yeah. Those things are good when you're playing with your friends, but other than that, I mean, this is fun either way. Exactly. The only beef with the turrets is sometimes if you use its turrets. It's not just turrets, but yes, that is that is the beef with Arc Thor. The heavy base at R2 ping is unlooted and still has enemies. Uh, I got flared. Didn't get all the infantry in time. Trying to take out the guards while we're here, but gonna be moving on here. We're gonna take this way. Yeah, that helped take care of some of them. It doesn't. And taking the dropships down doesn't kill the creatures inside. Oh, like 90, like 80, 80, 90 percent of the time it doesn't at least. So it's generally not worth doing. Is that just Cur a high difficulty thing? Because I almost slaughter all of them when I do it on the lower difficulties, but I'm not it's used to not, playing high difficulty, so... It's not just a higher difficulty thing. Okay. Like that Hulk that was frozen back there, if you recall, that was on the dropship you shot down earlier. The dropship dropped down a Hulk, and it lived. It also glitched it in place because it landed on top of the corpse of the dropship. Hmm. It's just I a normal just dropship thing. Oh, sorry, left and left on a coal plant. I see Hulk is displeased with life. I think it's not doing much about it. Alright, I'll let you clear this. I'll go capture the next... Oh, no, laser cleared it. Sweet. We've got another secondary objective over here. Oh. The microtransactions are minimal. They are minimal, but they're also very good. Like, this is, this is a game that I have spent on microtransactions, which is something I cannot say about basically any other game. Oh, he hello. You are not what I thought you were. Hostiles, no hostiles. Great. Let's see, this is actually a good place for a resupply as well, because we've got to run past this location, and multiple of us are here. Like if, if all games did battle passes like this, I would be okay with battle passes. The only reason battle passes have a bad name is because of how scummy and predatory they are. This one is neither. Right. Ants here online, that should keep things relatively calm. That's multiple ants here online. I'm excited for Ghosts of Tsushima coming to PC soon. Interesting. That's not one I've played. I should not be a surprise given my lack of console. It outran the missile. We have two Seath Anciers. Alright, uh, looks like you guys are in combat here, so let's fix that.
What's the armor perk you, perk you run? Uh, scan, so I can scan. Uh, scan and stealth. Um, the other one I like is the medic armor. And I always run light because I like the playstyle. I like to go fast. Objective oriented. Speed is key. What am I looking at here? Suffering. Lots of it. Mm. Hello. A little hell bomb activity here. 39 kill streak. Nice. Where's the other one? There it is. Threw its leg off. It didn't detonate, and that concerns me immensely. That's a whole separate picture. Okay. Got it. Moving on. Back to the north we go. Get off my fox. Got your back in. Alright. This is fine. Oh, Mick. Get a bunch of samples. Or are you? And Chris has already grabbed your samples, Danny. Yes. Okay. Very. You can kind of like the medium stealth because you find it uh, get hit by red and rocket if not again, and it could help. Oh yeah, no, no. the uh, with especially with the new with the new buffs, the um, the medium and heavier armors are actually they feel like they're in a pretty good state now. Um, I appreciate their existence. I do still intend to avoid playing them, uh, not because they're bad, but because uh, not my play style. And for no other reason, or you'll do see you'll see that I sometimes do throw on medium armors, especially in the uh, point hold missions where you know no movement is a thing. Good in eradicate missions though. Yeah, very good in eradicate missions. Uh, I do use the heavier armors to eradicate missions. If teammates wait for you, <laughs> this is true. Yes. It looks like Rhino is handling the primary. We'll do a little bit more pillaging. Yeah. Another Hulk. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so we've got all secondaries completed. Okay. Kills for dropships don't include enemies unless the dropship is already unloaded. There, there's been a lot of conversation around that. Um, It seems that kills for dropships just are in inconsistent, period. Uh, sometimes they'll die if you shoot them before it drops. Sometimes they'll die if you shoot them after. Most of the time, they won't die before or after. So it really doesn't seem to have a whole lot of correlation. Whether you shoot first, let it drop, it's... it's the ch chances are... More often than not, by a vast majority, the units inside will not die. It's currently much, much more effective to shoot the units on the dropship before they jump off. Some kills are unassigned. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, no. Uh, most kills in this game are unassigned. Uh, if you, let's say, if you go through the um, Eradicate mission, you get 500 kills and everyone comes out with 40 kills apiece. It's like, well, well literally most kills are unassigned. Uh, that's not what's being referred to. We're not talking about whether or not kills are assigned. It's it's literally the creatures don't die. And then they just walk up and shoot you. There is something about shooting down dropships that breaks the pathing for them, but that's that's a different issue entirely. I say we saw a lot of the time a chunk of the creatures will fail to uh, fill the path correctly after you uh, after they get shot down. And we'll just kind of chill. Which is fine, but not... Uh, that's, it's just scuffed. The entire thing is scuffed. 
Definitely looks like your stuff is lighter over here. Yeah, yeah. I like playing DMR go fast kind of style. Go run fast snipe hard. Which is why I run this guy, because it's a beautiful sniper. Auto cannon. The only reason I'm running auto cannon is because I find it diff I don't really need to run it in this group because this group's much more competent. But when I'm running with randoms, um, I run auto cannon because with the new creatures, uh, the drop ships specifically, actually, the gunships specifically, I've not been able to save the team from the gunships in cases when I'm not running the auto cannon. So I'm running eats, for example. I generally, like, I'll I could take out the gunships. But I can't do it before the teammates get gunned down to zero lives, which is a problem. Uh, because then we have zero lives. And I'd prefer the team to, you know, be able to play. So I, I run auto cannon because I can clear this guys with it and then go take out the gunships before the team goes down to zero lives. So I've just been running auto cannon recently. Um, I should try running railgun again. It's, it's usually my favorite. See how it get a little bit of a practice with this group. Well, this group is I'll run in with a group here. Rail cannon against the gunships. How's it how's it going over there with the nuke there, guys? It's looking not so hot, but definitely got some creatures just, just being around. Got a patrol and a half on you? I've got two patrols on me. We had two patrols over here, a couple of hulks, and they're taken care of now. Laser cannon's pretty good at taking out gunships if you shoot the engines. I'm sure. I still don't like the laser cannon. But it, it is... It might play out perfectly. Fun. I mean, they each their own. Like, mm -hmm. By all means. Like, it, it does reasonable work. I mean, it's got medium armor pen. It's got reasonable DPS. It's just, it doesn't do burst damage, and that makes it not happy for me. It makes me unhappy. But, I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's reasonably okay. I thought you were talking about the laser, uh, the Quaso Cannon. <laughs> Quaso Cannon. The Quasar, no, no, the, uh, the laser cannon. The laser beam uh, one. I used to run that one until the, uh, until the Quasar came out. Makes sense to me. I can't see the nuke through the blizzard. You heard it though. Oh, I certainly heard it. I definitely felt it. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been I've been chilling out here for too long. I got patrols all over me. Oh, we're coming for you. They are all over me right now. Hopefully, the blizzard will help obscure you. Oh, it is. Minute, Just, uh... Hmm. One shot's uh, charged with that shot. The uh, Quasar? Yeah, the Quasar's got the same damage profile as the uh, Eats and the Recoilless. It, it one shots the... Uh, the Quasar one shots the uh, Chargers to the face. It's two to three with the Bile Titan. Uh, one shots the gunships. He hit him in the engine pod. One shots the uh, drop ships as well. Okay, so that's my escape route for the moment. Uh, likely not to be uh, viable for long. The difficulty yeah. line looks so calm when you're watching. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's this is what I'm saying. Bots are bots are, in my opinion, easier than bugs because bots don't really apply pressure. Um, they just punish mistakes. So if you don't make mistakes, you, you're fine. Speaking of which, you guys have like two patrols right in front of you, by the way, Fox. Just heads up. Mm -hmm. You can go loud if you want, yeah. but just be aware. Yeah, uh, heading around. Oh, okay, they're going get... yeah. It wasn't me this time. Uh, if you guys want, yeah, just, just hop on over. Right, you guys are real close. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. There you go. Hulk, Hulk eraser incoming. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that should be a clear Hello, extract. Oh, yeah. See if I can get a clean shot on him. 
It is time to cast all of your orbitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn into a rave. I want to see that sky made out of laser beams. Alright, well... I'm under your backup, R2. Oh. Gotcha. Something blasted him. I'm pretty certain it was one of these two devastators. You got it. Alright, let's just let's just rotate counterclockwise off to the right here and go up the back side of this thing. Gotcha. I'm getting some stuttering. That drop ship's gonna be right. annoying here. We did a lot of damage, but we made a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Wait, isn't this the x -ray? Yeah. Oh. Right up here. Alright, we're still missing two. Alright, well. I feel like I got cut off. Uh, I'm going in this way. I'm good. Oh. Stop ragdolling. Thank you. Uh, okay, well, I'll appear a little ship. bit. Yeah, we're waiting for uh -huh. the last one up here. Don't worry, I know not to screw. All up or... Alright, we're just gonna have to hold this point, and uh, he doesn't have any samples, so hopefully we don't have to leave him behind. You can go clear. up the wall this way. Just up yeah. The uh, he's not in the Discord with us, so. No. We did it. Yeah. We didn't get any super samples. Okay. Oh no. I didn't see him anyway. We've we seen the leaked yeah, orbital nuclear strike. I haven't. Uh, but it does sound fun. I was looking for the code for that one to put into the um, to drop a nuke on you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine you if it was already it. in the game? It was just an invisible stratagem that none of us knew, and we just act, you just called it in, and suddenly it works. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, it doesn't appear, but it works. Apparently, that's some how the uh, code from one. Yeah. Well, apparently that's how the it works here with some of the things because um, the UI doesn't always show you all the stratagems you have because it's just sometimes UI bugs out. But you can still call them in even though the UI doesn't show it, which is funny. It's got 20 rares out of it. Out of the deal. Mr. Reckon the ATAT? -AT? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I haven't run into that yet. It's intimidating, that's for sure. I've seen it in videos. I've seen people land on it. But I haven't actually run into it myself yet. Does it mean you can call in hell bombs anywhere? No, not around. The hell bomb strategy is denied unless you're in specific locations. Nice. It would be very nice. No friendly fire is well done. Hellbomb denied. Hellbomb denied. Oh, <laughs> Captain Walloper, we almost had a deathless run. <laughs> oh my god. Almost all deathless. That's, yeah, that, that's uh, that's one of two achievements I'm waiting on to get. Hey, uh, did you seconds. unlock Hell Dive? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Thank you. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. The hour of our next victory yeah. rapidly Chip on tools. Uh, no, I still got another 33 to go. Before I can unlock the next thing. I just want to say, oh. Pal World just a few minutes ago unleashed a massive update. And when I say massive update, this thing is like pages long of patch notes. Like, what? Right, let me check this. I'm gonna do a word count here. So it's multiple messages long. So it's like over Discord. It's impressive. Oh my god, 
guys. Oh man. So they can get good primers. I don't mind them not doing that. Like it's it's fine. Let's see. Importing document. Oh my god, it's so much. It's, it's all right. It's three pages long. Uh, it's at least in Word, Microsoft Word. Uh, One thousand two hundred twenty-two words at seven thousand characters. It's very big patch notes. The bridge is yours, Hell Diaper. Have a good one, Persis. Have a good one, Diaper. Later. Catch it was fun you running with you. Oh my pleasure. You're always welcome to stop on by. You know, we miss you, man. Yeah. Do. All right. Have fun with your friends. You do. Well, obviously, you're going to have fun with your friends. I always do. Allied destroyer has left. <laughs> Blood is a new addition. I'm entirely convinced it's a bug. It's unintentional, but I'm very happy with it. Oh, you're talking about the uh, blood on your outfit after you return? Yes. That's actually intentional. From, it from doesn't work for for an intentional feature. It doesn't work very well, but I love it. <laughs> then again, it sums up most of the features so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hasta lasagna. Don't get any on you. Also, shout out to the wrist typing. Whenever I type, a character does a, an actual typing animation. Which is, you know, top tier. Welcome in. Alright, so we got <clears throat> one more slot. So if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. Also, welcome in, Captain. I do like to say, and we do not require a voice. I just like to have a voice channel open so that you guys don't have to worry about having double audio from in-game and whatnot. I right, have a good one out there, Plasma. Catch you later. It's not a bug, it's an undocumented feature. That This game has so many of those. I genuinely can't tell which is which. Oh, it's a status My here. My favorite is tank fast travel. Tank it's fast travel. Tank. As it explodes, before it explodes, you dive in the direction you want to go. You'll go halfway across the map, often without dying. Uh, the best I've had is, well, I still had iframes coming after landing on top of the tank and it detonated. I got launched all the way across the map and survived because I had iframes in the initial explosion and the impact damage just wasn't enough to kill me. It was beautiful. I'm still waiting for the Reddit post or the YouTube video where someone in the final seconds uses that to get inside the dropship. That is amazing. Tactical explosive. Eek! Exactly. <laughs> it is, it is. When I said after watch, like two of your streams went from difficulty five to hell dive extract with 20, 30 samples each mission. Hey, you know, I'm telling you, man, just take a little bit of practice. Especially on bots, it's really not difficult. It's just a tactical thing. It's a strategy thing. It's a knowledge gap. Once you learn it, once you see it, it gets pretty pretty easy. Which is why a lot of people have been complaining about the game being too easy since launch. It's just a lot of people, a mass majority, like slamming their heads against the wall. Over and over again. Which is all, which to be fair, is funny to watch. It doesn't get old. And it looks like we are officially ahead of the defense percent. Uh, so as long as we upkeep this pace, we should succeed. Oh my god. We're 17 minutes shy. Oh, it's so rough. Alrighty, Kane. I don't know if I have you. I do have you here. So, invite in. Welcome in. At our current pace, we will succeed with 17 minutes to spare, which is not many minutes to spare. Allied destroyer 
Not many minutes to spare though. It looks like none of us need samples. Is this true? I am sample capped. True. Ayo, all right. Makes my life easy. Not doing an extricate mission. Not doing an extricate mission. Looks like we're doing an extricate mission, boys. All right, so, um, hmm. Um, so, uh, so this is the extra cape mission, uh, you know, scientists. So we're gonna die horribly, and I'm all here for it. Last time we played, they dropped 11 tanks on me, like, to the point where they, we literally couldn't complete it because the tank corpses are so high that the civilians couldn't get to the doors. Uh, so we're gonna try this again. Uh, the strategy so far we have seen, uh, I can do this solo, I'm unable to get it to happen otherwise. Do we want to try to cheese it? Or do we want to try to do yes. it legit? We want to try to cheese it. I'm, right. I'm down for whatever you want. <laughs> okay, vote from the other two. I kind of want to fight. But... Kind of want to fight? Yeah, I'm down to fight. Because uh, I can cheese it solo. I have not been able to cheese it with the team. Um, Is anyone else's bat table flickering? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Not just me. All right, then. So we're going to try to do this legit. That means the strategy is pretty simple. One player per door for fourth player uh, runs around. Uh, runs around and does as much damage as possible. That's that's if you if you don't have a door, you do damage. So we'll be landing. Mortars yes or mortars no? Uh, uh, I don't have a strong. I have strong opinions on mortars and I hate them, but only because they kill me sometimes. Uh, they are yeah, effective that's... in this, and I have no strong opinion on whether or not they should be used here. <clears throat> Alright, I uh, just please for the love of god, no 380s. Just none of that. Time for oh. some butcher armor. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I shall bring... Eats, or... I think with this... I'll bring I'll Eats bring as well. Yeah, Eats. Legs, vitality. So for Legs eats, for does anyone else think of the RB slogan? Like, we got the eats. We got the eats. You and I live very different lifestyles. Um, There's oh. also the Weird L song, oh, Eat yeah. It. It's the spoof of Michael Jackson's Beat It. It's a three minute video, very good. And it plays based in my weird, head. Based on the Weird Al version? Yes. <clears throat> All right, so we typ I typically don't have like a hard-coded or hard pre planned door on door door selection. So just find the first door you can. Find your doors before calling down stratagems. Press a the button, then call down stratagems. And whoever didn't press a button, uh, your job is to sit in the middle and just deal as much damage as possible. Did I find that in the right place? I did not. This is fine. All right, I got a button. I got a button. Oh god, I've got this door again. To. Oh boy. Why did it have to be this door again? Well, they did change, so I haven't played since the... I'm gonna call it nerf. Uh, since the rework. Because the problem with this door is that they literally land tanks on top of it. And that it's just painful, because it crushes the civilians, and usually me, because I'm on the button. Um, for everyone else, uh, let's see. Whoever's not, the northwest corner here is going to be extremely hot. So we need to focus northwest corner if you don't have anywhere else to be. Uh, I'm going to request that you do not shoot down the dropships. Not because shooting down the dropships can't be done, but because it doesn't kill the things. And they still come at us, and we have to deal with the things. And it's just wasting DPS time. Shoot at the thing that comes off the dropship. Because I don't want to have to shoot the thing that comes off the dropship after you kill it. So far, the southeast side is empty, so I'm just pushing my button. Uh, oh, there's a I'm on. Okay. I was going to say, I'm on the southeast side, but. 
both pretty southeast. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. This is a safe door. I'm safe getting door. pushed I'm really getting hard. hard. Yep. All right, I'm coming. As I push my. There you go, R2. Thank you. Moment. Halfway done. Halfway. If we never get pushed off our doors, this should go really quickly. Alright, I am cleared over here. Alright. Uh, I got nothing to shoot at. Which is just weird. I think it's all west, to heading 280 on C4. Yeah, it looks like it's heading over there. Yeah, I'll be at home. Oh, I've got some action over here. On the uh, southeast. Yeah, they're trying to fill that gap. Uh, we got C4 down. I killed myself with my own well, Oh, that happens the best of us. Laser out. Good laser, check mortars if you have it. Check. Sentry check, yeah, sentry's up. They're by the main door. I need help with this Hulk. Coming. I got you, R2. One hit. Two hits. Oh. Got it. I died right at the same time. I got you, I got you. All right, southeast corner on the Cursus is looking a little breached. Well, we're close to Sippy Extract. 41 out of 50, we're doing it. I haven't seen more than two tanks, which is a vastly different, vastly different vibe than we were getting last time. Popped your heavy and curse. Appreciate it. You will never you. Another tank. We're done. All right, we're done. Good work, team. Uh, we have some time, so if we want to go exploring the map for samples, we can do that. I'm gonna recommend it. All right, we don't need set because none of us here need samples. It's beautiful. Uh, so we can go doing for some. Uh, I, ca I called it in, but we can walk away just to get some yeah. watch. Yeah, yeah, I'm partial to that tactic. Right, so we'll hold out for now. And then uh, get the loiter going. To be honest, this arc thrower felt pretty good. Just the constant stagger. Very effective. Keep him away while stratagems come off CD. I really like the EMS mortar. Yeah, the EMS, EMS mortar for this is unmatched. Choice. Absolutely choice. I think the hand that was holding your grenade got rocketed. And the range loss for the arc thrower is very noticeable. But I can shoot corpses, which I'm realizing now. And those corpses will chain to other targets. Alright, 20 seconds, uh, so let's head on out. Alright, prepare to head on out. So we can get the loader going. Okay. 
Let's go. Get out of range. I got ragdolled the king to come. Oh, we failed the loiter. Oh, we didn't leave, like at all. Oh, when you said get out, I... Yeah, was, we have to I was away get out of... I ran towards it. Oh! I bet. I got caught by a rocket. Alright, uh, so do we want to pillage or just leave the vicinity entirely? I'm fine with pillaging. Alright, let's get some pillaging done. So we're only looking for super credits, everything else is entirely unnecessary. Oh, I landed in the middle of a patrol. That's not good at all. I'm gonna die. So in that case, just or it'll not. happen. We got we got lives to spare. It's fine. I'm somehow not dead. C4 with the amazing save. Thank you, Captain. You know, could have sworn the patch notes said they lowered the amount of. St yes, they did. From 60 to 50. It used to be. Uh... It used to be 60. Yeah, 60 was much harder. It was. Well, we would have gotten it this time, but I suspect for reasons outside of the uh, total quantity. Yeah, this arc throw is no longer opening these doors. Ooh, which is probably nice. for the best, but... Yeah, it doesn't make sense that uh, electricity was causing explosions. Yes. I agree that it needed to not do that. But it is upsetting. Yes. Oh, hey, I found a super spire. Yes. Nice. Well, not super credits, though. Uh, yeah, I need none of this. Oh, no, it's the fake one. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm dealing with over here, but I'm kind of pinned. I'm going to hang out here for a minute while I unpin myself. That's empty. Hmm. Oh, that's a tank. Drop on me, ignore it. Okay, I have a double door up here. Uh, north side. Alright. Uh, I'm closest, I'm on my way. Whoop! Ah, <laughs> run from the tank. Obliterated squad of 12 walkers. Yeah, but imagine. <sighs> Last time it wasn't walkers that was dropping, it was tanks. Like, oops, all tanks. Which is just, I just ridiculous. Found 15 rare samples, I'm just gonna ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That feels good. I think those samples where they belong. Uh, let's see. Let me try this again. Yeah, it's definitely just not working anymore. That's metals. Right, do you guys still need metals? No, oh, they're different. I could. Yeah, I need. I can use a I do. I died. R2, call me in. Come in. Couldn't get past the uh, 11 scout. We fought the, uh, the bot titan? Yes, 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 we have fought the, uh, the bot titans. They are... Um... Devastatingly healthy. Oh, that's a tank. Hello. A solution for you. Um, Actually, you know what? I'll take that anti material. Did you miss? I swear, evil one. Why are you like this? Ow. Oh, that is an entirely new patrol. Stop ragdolling on the floor, you're already on the floor. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna give you one more try here, evil one. Don't scuff this up again. Thank you. Oh my god, there are so many samples. <laughs> I told you I ran past like 15 and oh. You, yeah, you're oh. not kidding. I appear to be stuck. Uh, oh, there we go. Being defended by the skin of the teeth, dude. It is. We were last I checked. We were 17 minutes. The rate would have us at 17 minutes. However, there's a good chance we're not going to be able to defend this one because as the night goes on, we're going to lose players, which just means we well, have a limited time. The thing about losing players, though, is then the individual squad impact goes up because apparently there's a multiplier based on total active players. Yes. And you get divided by the total amount of players. What we have so seen so far, players. so that makes sense, but we have seen so far is it doesn't, it isn't a net positive for players. Ah. It's the more players, the more uh, progress is made, like period. Also, we've only got sure. 70 seconds to get back, I meant 70 seconds, uh, it's about less than two minutes, minute and a half, that's 90 seconds. All right, breaking this door and then I'll head back. Ah. Found is there a reason to collect samples in late game? There is. That's what samples are for. We just were beyond late game. Yes. I found the super sample rock. What do you think about the arc throws correction for the no more feathering of the trigger? I think it's a good idea, and I like it, because it felt scuffed to begin with and it was unintuitive like i don't mind there being invisible game mechanics that you have to learn just by playing the game or by word of mouth that one did not come off as well implemented at all uh so i'm i'm happy that they changed it so it's now got an actual indicator when it can be fired and it's uh it does have a bit of feathering still but it now has an indicator for it which is nice and it's very consistent now which is nice oh, i got 40 seconds to get back to you boys come on run the blizzard really... yeah that's i don't think we brought oh no i did bring muscle legs come on c3 work those legs I'm uh, i shouldn't have worn the heavy armor well, everyone all aboard. No. I don't see a way to help him. Yeah. Nope. I'm too good. greedy. Uh, Plus, Astani is going to uh, probably finish faster than Vandalon. Uh, well, is that true? Oh, I'm on the wrong rock. <laughs> I'm on the wrong rock. Uh, it is true. By not long, but that is true. Astani will finish first. But then again, that's bug players on the bug side of the world. They tend to not come over to the automaton front. Kane, rip you. Oh no. Yep, yeah, rip Kane. You're a lost rep. You'll be missed. We are so close to failing Vandalon. But hey, that's the extricate mission done. So that's the good one. That's the hard one at least. And the others are pretty consistent. That one wasn't even that hard. I know, that one felt yeah. easy, and it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I'd say Walloper held that one, for the most part. I <clears throat> didn't kill much. Yeah, I was I was saying that, that corner... Like that. that corner well, is... death. The, the thing is, the two EMS mortars really held me, and then I cycled mm -hmm. all of the stun grenades that I had. I kept things CC'd, and then it got stuck on corpses, so the pathfinding was helping me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see the the kill difference there. Which, yeah, to be fair, be doesn't mean much, because the half the kill, more than half the kills aren't registered. Oh, yes. 
Very good. And Curtis, why are you still a fleet admiral? Don't you have a couple of title promotions? Yes. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. Unless I can be super private, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> just a few more levels, just 42. 42 is a nice number, I like that number. Yeah. You're okay with 380s on this, right? Oh wait, what are we doing? Yes, uh, uh, it's a uh, eradicate. Yes, just please, don't throw them on us. No, 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 I'll throw them center of the map if we're on the outskirts. Nope, wrong, okay. mortar, right mortar. Do I want water? I do want water. Did you miss anything crazy? Uh, we completed a civilian extraction mission, the scientist variant. The straight up extricate, which is... Oh, wait, hold on. It was very nerfed. Right, I want this armor. Very nerfed. I'm brave with those auto cannons. <clears throat> laser pew pew, very pew pew laser. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, we saw it last time. We saw it at the end, or uh, start of last mission. We were like tied for Vandalon. Oh no! I wanted to land on top of the rock. Why did you deny me this loading screen? All right, well, I'm going to hang out right here because this is where the nice things live. I'm going to actually throw you way over there because I think I can. I don't know if I've ever killed on this planet or this uh, layout. Uh, that corner is a very good corner, by the way. Uh, if you reinforce, reinforce toward this thing because standing on top of that is amazing. Uh, but yeah, where we are right now, you see all those things survive the drop. We kill things outside the... We're going to want to pull back here, by the way. Like, the point to hold is... Yeah, over where the mortars and resupply are. So, good work on that. Oop, I got a heavy on me. There's a tank. Oh, bracketed by... Oh, hello. Heavy from behind. I throw that resupply. I throw that reinforcement as far on the other side as you can. Yeah. Thank you for your auto cannon backpack. I'll give it back in a second. Nailed it. All right. I would love to have a. Ah. You got multiple tanks rolling up on you. By the way, got one of them. Right, I've I got your backs very for the most part. Yes. Uh, Captain, you've got, you're trailing a whole heap load of chainsaws. <laughs> Just, it's looking real unpleasant over there. Sorry, no, that's not Captain, that's uh, Kane. Well, that was Captain. No, that was Captain, I was running. Kane died earlier. Sixteen kills with a grenade, holy smokes. Ooh, I might have thrown that too close to your rock. Go to the far side, northeast. Oh dude, that is forty yeah, Shit. that's that yeah, okay. It's like I see that like thirty five meters uh oh. What about throwing it at the center of the map? Sorry, I'm fine. There's nothing in the center of the map anyways. It's all coming on that side. Requesting air support. Calling in reinforcements. Ow. Ow.
shot. Oh, Lord have mercy, that is so many. Up here, huh? Uh, not really. Uh, there's a spot you can, but it's not particularly consistent. I really want to airstrike those folks, but I, I'm afraid. Uh, it's a very out. valid fear. I'm just gonna make a lot of noise, give you some, some something to shoot at over here. Keep running. Uh, yes, yes, I will keep running. You have convinced me quite firmly. No, I was I trying to shoot that hook. Burning damage does so much. If only I had my arc thrower up on top, that would be beautiful. Try and get you to an opposite high ground so you can get angled. That's what I did. Yeah. Uh, I landed on the. I landed over by uh, Rhino's side, off by the mortars. Wall fine. behind us, we got a tank. Yeah, or dude, there, it is it is nasty over there. Oh my god! Look at the pile. I really want to airstrike the pile. Do it. Uh, okay. You can. We're I mean, going. now is not a bad time. Uh, that is lethal oh, amounts boy. of airstrike on your position, by the way. Just yeah. I lived. How did you get up here? Are oh, you the jetpack? Jetpack. I can't. Shuttle's down. Alright, sweet. This dude is a threat. This dude is a threat. That is invisible four. Um, I've got a lot of madness at the foot of my the foot of my little castle here. I see it. It's it. greatly unpleased with me. But it is standing still, which makes the headshot experience quite consistent. Thank you. I think they're thinning out, because they stop dropping in once we clear it, right? Yes, so you can you can actually just kind of clear everything out eventually. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Ooh. It's not an everyday experience. Oh, I'm coming down. Holy shit, I lived. Hmm. Take off a bunch of yours. Oh, the backpack is here. The Dominator is such... Oh! Alright, well, uh, I guess I don't have to run and make the run anymore. The Dominator is such a good sniper. Alright, sweet. All right, we should be good to go. There's got nothing left to do but get out of here. Let's head on over. Let's do it. Need to make a movie out of this game easy, easily. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, so this game's lore is not. It is very satire, very... It's called Starship Troopers and Terminator. <laughs> it is... I mean... I mean... <sighs> tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's different. Not so much different with Starship Troopers. Different with Terminator, though. Oh, well, I mean, there's a couple of the later Terminators where they're like, we're at war now, we're a resistance, which I know we're not, but... Yeah. They've done one... war-based Terminator movies. They have, they have. And it, it's... Th Visib it is visibly similar, but it, it's only cosmetic depth. Oh, sure. So they took the best part. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the, um... The satire bit of it is what makes it fun. At least in terms of, like, gameplay and interaction and such. Lovely. Democracy's reach extends a 
Level 109. Are you sure I did not just use four stems? <laughs> Starship Terminator. Uh, we are so, so close to losing this. <clears throat> Still got a ways to go. Terminator Troopers. The best troopers. Alright, so we'll land probably extract here. Uh, let's see, we're back in this corner. And then work our way left and right. No, let's land on the peninsula with only one way out. That'll be fun. Mm, yeah, that's 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 the right <laughs> tactical decision right there. Right. By the uh, way, actually, you might want to change out heavy armor. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I am I going to swap it. railgun. Try out railgun again. Not that. Actually, no, I'll keep that. Auto cannon I and bring, eats. I will bring the auto cannon. Where is it? Why am I blind? <laughs> you should buy this game. It is a very good game. It's a very good game. It's up there with Deep Rock Galactic. In my opinion, I prefer this to Deep Rock Galactic. But that's that's and that is some seriously high praise. So many eats, so many eats. Sorry. Yeah, eats are a good time. Hey there, Irish. Welcome in. How you doing today? Irish, I, I broke and I played two more matches of Dune Spice Wars. Somebody say rock and stone? For Carl. I played two more matches of uh, Deep Rock Galactic as smugglers yeah, buddy, because I wanted to piss people off. Yeah, right next to him. I, landed, okay I landed in the buddy door. Uh, that explains why there's a flare there. Okay, well, I'm leaving. Good luck with the buddy door. I'm not going to be Aww. here anymore. Oh, but, but, we're detected. It's it's. We've got multiple sources of bot drops on us right now. So just be aware. Yeah. Well, it's just a whole heap load of problematic. I think it's not looking at me. It is not looking at me. It is looking at someone. Oh god, I'm not going to be able to... It is now looking at me. Walloper, I called you in, but uh, there's a bot drop on location where I called you in. So... It's alright, I got 500. I'll just take out the detector real quick. There's a jammer on me. I may have gotten it. Oh my god, there's so many bots here. Yes, please. That should be detector dead. Hey, laser got it, but no kill like overkill. I'm working on the strategy. Uh, 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 Walloper, we're getting chased by a big one right behind you on your left. He's made out of flamethrower. How many variants? How many right, blew its backside. Are there two? Uh, two, yeah. Rocket and flame. Oh, get in flame. And then they both have a laser arm. Yep. The flame has a chainsaw arm. Uh, you're correct. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. It has it a does. chainsaw arm. Okay, I cannot use the dominator with a broken arm. That's not how that works. Ow! Ow! Where'd you come from? Oh. Alright, I'm heading back to where we spawned because that's where my gear is and there's a tank here. Take C4 with you if you can. There's a buddy door there too. Uh, we... Yeah, I'll try to. Because we need to go that direction because if we don't go... Th there's another patrol charging at us here. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta leave. I'm out of HP. I'm out of stims. I'm just about out of grenades. I don't know how I have any limbs that are not broken right now. I'm mounting over things which would be the worst case scenario. Don't. I got pre fired. I'm pretty certain there's just omniscient creatures that were chasing us there. 
is why I got chased so far. <laughs> Gotta be a hell of a super soldier, yeah. They're not on us, I think. Nice Alright. I am in the worst place to be. What's your, uh, encouragement? Have you looked at the, the full map clear versus the standard, uh, like rush clear for total squad impact? Uh, I have only know what I have been told. Which is? Which is that the full map clear has more impact. Right, uh, that's what I've heard. That's based on XP gained. Yes. Uh, this is unconfirmable with anything in game. All right, well, I'm running south because this is this is not tenable. We're getting chased by stuff and being blasted by things that are yeah, way outside of engagement range. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be here. Like, I don't know how to not be chased by this stuff here, other than just I run. The jar, I don't think the Dominator was really nerfed. It was altered a bit. But its damage was increased. It was the slugger that got nerfed. The Dominator straight got buffed this late dispatch. Yeah, the Dominator got buffed. It got like a 50% damage buff. Not yeah, many other changes. 200 or 300. Yeah. I don't, I'm not aware of it getting any other changes. Why are all of these creatures angry? It's like everything is getting angry at us. Whether, like, in, if it's rendered in, it's mad at us, and I don't know why. Done? Yes, this is done. Alright. Turning north. Okay. It appears you're broke. Yes. Holy smokes. Give me this number, didn't really check its efficacy. As I'm not. You're probably. You probably saw a post about the slugger getting nerfed. It's not the slugger. It's not the, uh, the dominator that got nerfed. Dominator got a massive buff. Unless someone's just straight trolling. You played uh, Doom Spy Sports yesterday, but you're gonna hold it. Yeah, that's you see, that's where I was at. And then I did it again, anyways. So I have a problem. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. Requesting air support. Sending in an eagle. Attack underway. Good prosperity. Orbital inbound. Fire in the hole. Save your nade again, eat. Yep. Oh. Do it. Never mind. I've got a I've got attack pack, so it, it I've got unlimited, so I'm really not concerned about that. It's on the gaming subreddit. I mean as it stands, that's just factually not true. Oop. It has not I'm been nerfed. Uh, let's see what he Oh you were you ran right past uh, the uh, Sam site. <gasps> How could you? I'm gonna go get it. R2, we gotta go. They got dropships inbound. So that was a rough start here. Deep Rock Galactic has smoked. No, 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 Dean Spice Force has uh, smoked. I was having fun with it because, well, the game has just got a lot of cool designs that make it really fun. Uh, a lot of cool strategies and such, but its implementation leaves much to be desired. It's mostly in the performance region. Uh, and the thing I was doing is I was getting people real pissed at me by doing things like sniper spam. And I was playing old school smugglers, which has been nerfed pretty much into the ground, but it still kind of sort of works. Especially when you're against the average player. By that I mean get 10 snipers, fan them out in the open desert, dance until the worms come, and then just attack. The opponent. What is the opponent gonna do? Chase your units out into the desert? No, they get eaten by they get eaten by the giant worm. So they don't do that. Instead, just suffer attrition damage to your snipers. 
You use your snipers one by one, but it's far, far slower than the uh, than the damage you deal at with the snipers. So, went a straight up one v three with that, which was. I'm sure, infuriating. I had one rage quit, the others just ganged up on me because they hated me. It was a great time all around. For me, specifically. I mean, that's their fault for not having a better strategy. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, in this case, it was less strategy than implementation, but yes. Objective located. Yeah. The strategies weren't top tier either, but still. You like to taste the freedom? Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Calling in reinforcements. Got you safe here, Kane. Alright, nice shot. Alright, we got the dropship thing here. Don't worry about that. It sounds like a skill issue. I mean, it was, but again, the game suffers from so many um, coding deficiencies that skill is not always the determining factor. Sometimes the game just lags. Sometimes you're not allowed to control your units for a solid 30 seconds. Sometimes an entire battle happens within 30 seconds. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go take out the uh, the dropship because we haven't seen one of those in a while. There's also a patrol on our right that we needed to avoid anyway. So. Me too. Eagle one never misses it. Never misses the mountain, that's for sure. <sighs> What's the effective range on those SAM sites? Two, three hundred meters. I'm pretty certain they go across the map. Really? As long as it's, it's just uh, a matter of lock-on time and, and yeah. travel distance. Mm-hmm. Right, let's pop these guys here. We're about to get some nasty encounters. Oh, overhead! Shoot! I did not see those gunships take off. All right. Got it. Uh, we got bot drops over there. All right, so we're getting flared over there, which I've seen happen fairly consistently when it comes to these uh, airships, which leads me to believe that the airships themselves are calling in, and because they aggro on launch, they're calling in over there. Which is funny because they just removed that ability from the shriekers. I know. They just fixed that for the other faction. Didn't fix it here. Uh, nothing here. All right, we're up here again. What the? Reload. Rock! Still don't know how many hits it takes down the brink. How many hits it takes to bring down one of these with a the railgun? Alright, there we go. Yeah, make sure to get that deep into the trench. Yeah, it's right next to the building. Sorry for the reinforce, that was a bad toss. Well, I'm active. Ten seconds. I hope you don't mind if I don't immediately leave. What did I get blasted by? I think I got rocketed from this side. Okay. 
The glare on the gunships is absolutely unnecessary. It is unironically one of the worst parts about them. Alright, so we have more gunships here, by the way. Just just pointing that out. Uh, we need to deal with those. I don't have the weapons necessary to do so. It's a 500 kg. Beautifully placed, by the way. The Hulk survived. And what's more is there's Ed no longer survived. Good work. Alright, sweet. There's so much more. Alright, well. Alright, looks like the gunships are down, so we no longer need to be here. Alright. We ran out of stems. Happens to us all. That's a lot of bullets. It is. That is most certainly a lot. Alrighty then. Uh, let's throw down one of these. Here too. You can take a neat. It's some. Okay. Let's throw Call down these. Cost just a bit. What? Flare from inside the bunker. That's just Flare from cheating. inside the bunker. Alright, so that means we need to not be here because it's about to get real hot. All these creatures are unhappy with our existence. Too long trying to cover you. That was my mistake. I did make it out. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, patrol here. Moving on. I'm actually gonna go to the south here. Clear out that uh, tertiary real quick. Yeah. Alright, I'll work on the primary. I'm pretty certain I'm getting attacked by something omniscient. Alright, we should be able to hit that one there, you go one. Good job. Oh, here comes a blizzard. Ooh, I wonder if sentries can see through blizzards. Uh, I'm pretty certain they can. I don't know by how much. Well, we'll find out right now. So, it cannot see 100 meters out. Because it has a clean line of sight, but it's not shooting. Understandable. I don't know if the autocannon can ever shoot 100 meters out. Really? I thought it had I know, it's range. I know it's got a lot of range, but I don't know if it's got that much range. 100 meters is quite a lot in this game, at least. Auto cannon can shoot at least 130. I've been outside shrieker range and killed shrieker nest with auto cannon. No, auto cannon Understood. is sentry, not, not the auto cannon itself. Understood. Clear. Clear. It's still not shooting as they come out the base. Uh, patrol here. Big boys down. I'm out here clearing the uh, guards. Ah, uh, flare. flare right there. That's why I was clearing the guards. Mitigate that kind of risk. Oh, from where we just came in, there's a patrol. And 
it's not happy. C4, you might have to. No, I'm good. You're good. Have you seen the reports of cloaked ships being spotted in the sky? I have seen the reports, yes. Uh, Sam taking down some drop ships here. This area is currently infested with hostility. Should be able to terminal. Southwest of the base still needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, C4, you're in danger. Airstrike. Yep. I didn't understand until you said airstrike. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I needed to be a little bit more loud with that. From the east. Nail it. Did we call supplies around here somewhere? Yes. Oh, uh, yes, the right the there. Base, I Thanks. Oh, I got a heavy on me and no tools to deal with it. Dude got blasted from behind. Uh, we have another patrol. It's gonna be a mess. Hello. So I like the uh, rail gun still. It feels pretty good, but it definitely needs the scorch. Well, needs is a strong word, but I think I feel like the scorch handles it better. Uh, main objective up there needs a button press. I'll hold this one if you want. <sighs> sure. Oh, the boy's left, I didn't see. Sorry. Yeah. The Scorch is just a little bit more effective for rapid acquisition. I'm going to snipe out Devastators. You can use the Railgun for it. Don't need to use the uh, Dominator, which means I could get a target, get something that's better out of him. Smaller targets like the Scorch. More efficient. Northeast? Are they coming? Yep. It looks it. Uh, we also have a patrol right here. It's about to go to aggro. Yep, there it is. Alright. gonna rock it this way and I don't want to be here. Down. All right, good job on the button pressing. Let's see. I'm going to start running to extracts because it's a ways away. Go for it. Let's see if I can't get a call down over there. Let's see, did we get all secondaries? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, broadcast, <coughs> jammer, Sam, and the Thunder. Freedom requires firepower. <laughs> For a moment, I thought I was going to kill one of the civilians with an eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll feed you this. What 
other game modes or mission types would you like to see in the game? You know, I've been asked that question multiple times, and I still don't have an answer to it. Um, you know, well, for April I mean, Fools, they could have done a short game where it's like survival, where um, everyone would be running around, and then one person at random would be chosen to be in the pod. And it's like the potters keep dropping, trying to kill people. And if you die, you become a potter. <laughs> Traitor hunt. Until Z there's the last zombie person still zombie running around. Pod? Yeah, zombie help pod, basically. That would be interesting. They could, they could bring back um, boss mode, like boss missions. Because in Helldivers 1, there was the, the giant, like, upright centaur tank thing and the hive lord. I mean, they, they have they have something like that. Like, on the lower difficulties, oh, yeah. you get, oh, hunt a bile titan or oh, go hunt an ATAT -AT kind of thing. Right, but they could Which bring is a that special unit with way more health. I mean, that's that's just adding units rather than mission types. Fair. Um, Although high lords a... did kind of have special mechanics. All right, uh, it's time for me to not be standing right here. Instead, be standing over here. And boss missions are coming, just you just not released yet. That's what I presume, yeah. Yeah. Upgraded ATAT -AT and figure out the Hive Lord situation based on the molts that we've seen around the bug planets. It'd be an interesting competitive, competitive PV, like the PVEVP, where you're not actually facing the players, but instead just a PVE race kind of deal. That's a game mode I can get behind. I've always loved those kind of game modes. Like Left 4 Dead style? Uh, uh, Left 4 Dead usually goes direct PvP. Um. Not PvP, but PV, PvE race. More like, I guess, closer to Destiny's Gambit. Um, although Gambit did have some PvP elements to it. Um, but more of a PvE race kind of deal. You see that kind of stuff in a lot in StarCraft. In StarCraft Arcade. Also, a heads up, it is bad over here. Like, you do not oh want to God, engage. It is very bad. It is traumatizingly now oh well i've just been discovered all right go loud i can't move stop it go loud because i'm a die gunship gunship dropship no my character yelled out gunship but i don't think that was accurate it is fps destroying levels of unfortunate <laughs> of stuff going on this here. is bad yeah all right i'm good i'm gonna loiter i'm gonna start a loiter here so we can clear this out yep oh, i'm getting let's let's back off a little bit just to make sure we loiter this because this is the alternative is we're gonna be here for like five minutes clearing everything out holy smokes that is literally fps destroying amounts of stuff Railgun just does so much damage in a shot. Okay. I think we're clear. Uh, clear enough. Yeah, Let's go. He's blasting nothing. Yeah, he, well, he's blasting other patrols wandering around off in the distance, but yes. Speaking it's kind of, of funny how destructive Pelican 1 is when he Ooh, loiters geez. compared to an right there. He's. He feels like he has a regular auto cannon, like an auto cannon sentry, but. He's always got line of sight of things by virtue of being in this guy. He just obliterates everything. You think they'd ever do a uh, eight-player mission where two different squads randomly get paired up? Oh, that's oh, another like, game uh, mode I would like. Uh, mildly related. Let's say you get left behind. Uh, you have the option to go into like survival mode where you get dropped in as a fifth player with zero lives, zero respawns in somebody else's mission. Like you just spawn in at the edge of their world, and your objective is to get out alive. That would be a fun mission. That would be fascinating. Like you have zero lives, and it's like a little mini game. Can you get out alive? And of course, the other players are like, oh, hey, can we help this guy get out of the pelican? I feel like it should be a group award. Like if you happen to have one of those guys in your game. Did we? 
No. Sorry. I know it's that bug. Hell to have a rescue mission, exactly. It's like, oh hey, it's Malevolon Creek all over again, but we have a random dude who just got left behind and just trying to get off the planet. You can return him to your Star Destroyer, the Super, uh, the super Destroyer. The only, the only issue I see with that is, like, for, for example, if I got left behind on this mission right now, I now have to go play with four other randos while you three have to wait for me to get out? Yeah, the, well, well, I'm saying that's why it'd be an optional mission type. Ah. Obviously, you don't want to do that at all points in time. Or it could be a, the a reward, but like a, a mission type if you're if you're doing quick play only. Will you defend it? Like the yes. Game knows you're, the game knows you're, air quote, solo, even if you are playing with three other divers. Yes. Oh, I apparently need to kill things with oh, Star Wars. Holy smokes, it's still so very close, neck to neck. It is really close. Ah, oh, Nastanya's still got 47 minutes on the timer. Looks like we're ahead by a smidge. We are very technically ahead. Very technically. It says we're ahead by 24 minutes. When I look at yes. the Which is not many minutes. I'm gonna head off. I have to get some some sleep. Alrighty, have a good Survival night, Rhino. Sleep. I couldn't decide whether to say bed or sleep, so. <laughs> one of the two. Lep. <laughs> Alright, then we've got one more slot in the lobby, if anyone wants to come and join. We've got a couple missions to go. Have a good night there, Rhino. Right Figure out why my friggin' Discord doesn't actually display on this game. It never. Or any games, actually. It's a Discord setting. You have to go game activities. I play a game World of Warships. I constantly have to remove and re-add the game from Discord to recognize it. Imagine your whole team gets left behind. She's going to survival an eight-player surprise mission. <laughs> I got to limit it at some point, but yes, that would be certainly interesting. Zero lives, zero stratagems. Just in with a gun, like your basic primary, secondary. No grenades. I just go. Can you join? Yes, yes, you can. Miss friend code. Unless we have somebody else, uh, perhaps a regular, I'd like to hop in. All right, have a good night there, Theta. Rest well. Uh, the new automatons they're pretty good uh they're they're i the atat -AT i think is very fun the gunships i find just are the bane of hell divers and tends to wipe them out very quickly yeah how often do we have to look up uh, well i mean they're hard to miss like if you look in the general direction you get flash banged what is that red light supposed to be Spotlight? Probably. Probably. This is a random dude, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> I tend to get friend requests just from random players, which is fair enough. Maybe extra reward. Uh, fun would be the reward. A survival mission sounds amazing. It'd also be a great solo play field thing, I think. No limited stratagems, do some objectives, just survive on an onslaught for revec, pretty much. I feel like I need a dedicated anti gunship guy with a QC uh, stick sniping them. Eh. Uh, there's so many different ways to bring that down. Like, I, I brought it down with a railgun. Uh, I've been bringing the auto cannon. The auto cannon, I think, is the strongest one I've found so far. Um, if it works, which is always a big if. But if it works, then the um, the spear is very good. Obviously, it doesn't work very often, but if it works, the spear is very good. Yeah. You're in it. Oh, the Discord. Yeah, it was in game chat. Uh, the community Discord. You can use exclamation point Discord in chat to get a link. 
or uh, that's really about it. Or just scroll down to the description, it's linked in there. Basically, join the Discord, hop in a random voice channel, and then curses will put you as we call. Exactly. Oh no, Super Destroyer down. Got blown out of the sky. I, is this the same player we have in game? Yes. Different name. All right. Sweet. Welcome in. They raised level cap. Yes, yes, they did. I uh, woke up this morning as a level 107. All right. So we know the plan here. Uh, very simple. One door per player, and if you don't make it to a door, you kill everything as quickly as possible. This is your job. What is going on with this map? As technical difficulties. <laughs> I'll be swapping oh, to my armor. medium armor because I don't want to die in one shot. And everything else should be good to go. Why am I blind? There it is. That's a darn good question. I don't have an answer for you. I, you know. Let me try running Arc Thrower again. It's... No. Arc thrower and mortar. This <laughs> is a big if <laughs> the spear is working exactly. Yeah, but anything like the the eats work well. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't actually know if the laser cannon works well. Against what? Um, the gunships? Does the laser does the laser cannon plan yeah, gunship? Because of that, if that does, the, that would be reasonably that would be reasonable. If you shoot the engines, it does indeed work. Okay. No, not the quasar, the laser. Laser. The laser. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, the laser. The laser's got medium armor pen, so it usually pens things. And I was wondering because I'm pretty certain, pretty certain laser does it. I don't imagine it does a lot of damage, but I mean it's a laser, so long range, easy hit. Um, so the laser actually does a lot of damage, but it's hard to keep on target. Yeah, yeah. It, it kills it <clears throat> if you keep it on track in like two seconds, maybe two and a half. Oh god, this is the farm. Well, I'll take the far door. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, Alpha 2, stay on the... Uh, looks like... Oh no, I'll stay out. Yeah, if you find... If you find a button, don't leave the button. All right, so I'll stay on the outer button, but this is the one that we tend to have to uh, tend to have to retreat from. So just keep that in mind. All right, here they come. Stand on your doors and get ready. They're coming east. Yep, here they come. That's where I looked at. All right, I feel like that was. Uh, that was my bad. Yeah. That was the other way. The That's the strategy. <laughs> it happens to everyone. Uh, press your button, Charlie Fort. We need to be on those buttons as quickly as possible because if we get kicked off, it's going to become a problem. Oh, EMS mortar. That's what I forgot. Damn it. Uh, oh, boy. We're gunning down dropships. Dropship. Ow. Something explosive hit me. It didn't hurt a lot. Alright. I died. Thank you. It's April while you're getting slow. Because it's cold outside. It's April Fool's Day. That's why. Alright. Uh, we are getting killed. Which usually means that we're going to have to reset here. Because the momentary loss of DPS is difficult to recover from. Those EMS mortars, man. Coming in clutch. So good. Yep. 
Oh, there goes my cover. Not, not, to, not to jinx it. We haven't had to fight too many hulks yet. Hmm, yes. Mostly machine gun raiders. Oh, I jinxed it. Oh boy, I'm out of cover and it's gotta press the button. Ow! I don't think any of these CVs made it. I got boys coming from the north. I'm working on it. All right, yeah, I think we'd have to pull back off of the uh, off the farm and just hold the side there. It's way too exposed. Could use a reinforce. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's really bad over on the farm. Switch to impact. Yeah, I'm trying out impact for a while. I'm still not happy about impact most of the time, but it is effective. No, not a moat. Friggin' heal. I need a... Shoot. Overrun. I got eight MGs on me. I'm alive. Uh, I think it's about time to... Yeah, this yeah, is a. Uh, we have to go north with this because there is no south. Roger, north. So uh, reinforcing to the north, just hold north. That should be W key. Good. Life cover is brutal here. Yeah, it is. It is. Do you see anything in the sky? Uh. Is, does my ceiling count? Uh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta leave. Don't shoot. We, we gotta leave. This is a full reset. If you're in base, just like pull a pin, pull the pin on your grenade and just self-destruct. We gotta get out of here. Uh, I landed outside. Okay, I'm fine. Should we go northwest? I think that's the only... Yeah, it's about the only path we can go from this point. How good the list of shield be? Uh, not really. Uh... We do have to meet up here, otherwise it doesn't work out very well for us. Limits you to SMGs, which the higher difficulties means that you don't have an EBS. Yeah. Yeah, they did just improve it a little bit, but. Mm. Uh, you two need to turn north down there, actually. I see that. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can meet up with you. They're coming around the corner. And they'll, they'll they'll be able to make it to us. They've got a path. They will. I see. I see. You. Here's the thing. Uh, someone's about to get a bot drop on them, and whoever gets the bot drop is going to have to move. Unless they changed that again, which they may have. Oh, nope. All right. All right. So I'm going to start running just in case it's us. Because if it's us, then uh, we will need to be back at base as quickly as possible. I think it's not us. There's the call. All right. So it's either way, we yeah, it's, it is on them, and we definitely need to be back in base because a bunch of things just despawned to afford that. And, uh, and I still see some raiders in there. There will definitely be more things in there. All right. Reinforcing over here. You want to be spawned in base or on your body? Uh, is on base, on base. Uh, we, we need to be in done. base. It's yeah. It's fine. You know what? I'm just gonna commit suicide. That is an effective Coming. solution. That's how they recommend it. All right. Get those airstrikes in. Clear the area out as things are despawning in front of our eyes. Look at it. Everything's despawning. Being forced to, uh, being forced to spawn over the bot drop. It's beautiful. Southeast, southeast. Pressing that button. Buttons first. Buttons pressed. Alright, we're secure for the second. We have limited time before the next uh before the next bot drop comes in. Blizzard, that'll kind of help. If you I see will, anything, actually. please ping it with Q so we can just shoot the Red Cross here. Right. Yes. 
Do the bot drops target the same player over and over again? It's a round robin. Uh, it's, as far as I can tell, it's a random. Speaking of which, here they come. West. No, excuse me, east, 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 east. It's multiple. I am dumb as fuck today, apparently. Excuse my language. Good work on the buttons. We've gotten almost double from our last. God, I cannot. Wow, there's. God, the yeah, this... just dealing with the bot drops is so very effective. It seems the bot drop is now because it spawns so many of them. They're all on uh, the west now. Yeah, because it seems to spawn so many of them that There's it's just much more effective. Uh, button push on 47. Cover my three boys. We have multiple civilians running in right now. Six minutes to go. We're fine. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We're not being overrun right now. One CV left, and I'm pretty certain that laser yeah, beam is the last few. I got him. All right, we got him right in. Hey, yo, we did it! Another success. There's so many supplies up here if you guys want them. Call down. Calling down a support weapon. Calling down a second arc thrower for anyone who's uh who's in need. Actually, I'll keep the auto cover. Whatever works for you. I have another EMS mortar in 15 seconds. Yeah, EMS mortar is so good. Requesting sentry. Alright. Arc throw range has been so ripped. Yes, yes, it has been. Yeah. Honestly, the arc throw buff is from the from the patch has been very nice. It is very, it feels very good. The 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 sentry twins, the mortar twins over here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of creature over there. Very stuck. Yes. He's spreading democracy and missed the toilet. Oh lord, have mercy. That's, there's no kind of democracy there to spread. Oh, I got something important. Hey, I got the headshot. Behind us. I like how we've set up some O patrol from the west. Yeah, this is, generally speaking, a very bad place to stand. Again, there's not a lot of good places to stand around here. Alright, I'm pretty certain you ragdolled in front of me as I was pulling the trigger. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I was surprised to say, uh, kill by incursus on the kill message. Yeah. I was like, not any yeah. of these thousand laser beams running yeah. past me. <laughs> oh, democracy protect, save me. Uh, kind of a little ranch here. You are. Oh lord, that's a lot. All right, let's get just get on this as quickly as possible. We are all here, I close range. We're not all here. Reinforce coming up. All right, flare went off. We have a limited time before things become I'm a problem. Just gonna run straight in. Yes, please. We're in. Go, we're in. Go, go, go. Here. Go, go, go. One, two, three, two, Nailed it. And... Jesus. Oh. <laughs> that was very close. <clears throat> oh, juicy beans, really? Apparently, apparently, friendly fire is frowned upon. Who? Mm -hmm. What no, gave that away? That. Yeah, I know. That. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> Welcome to chat. It's yeah. every time. There's always there's always a degenerate around. It never stops. <laughs> the dangers of streaming, I suppose. The dangers of being on the internet. Hey, is it really a danger if it's just regular human behavior? That's true. Hmm. Congrats on 50, sure. Well, regular is a regular is a strong word, but I'm just Dean 50 AEO. The internet is made for DGENs. You and I have two very different two very different opinions on that. But you know, you're welcome to share your opinion on the internet. That's the joy of the internet. Sleep. Thanks for the games, guys. Night. All right, have a good one then, Walloper. Catch you later. So we've got one more slot in the lobby if anyone wants to join. <clears throat> Suddenly having a high level is hilarious and playing random. Dude, I've been joining randoms for a good chunk of today. And uh, every time people get surprised. I've had people just, you know, suddenly add friends in game. If people suddenly just change their entire loadouts to just de copy what I'm doing, as if that's going to help them much. It's not, the, it's not which tools you bring, it's how you use them. Exactly. It's not the size of your auto cannon, it's how you use it. <laughs> All right, one more slot in the lobby, guys. Anyone want to join? Play a computer? Or PC. Yes. I think you meant PS, but... I don't know. That's That sound, That looks like a PC to me. Helldivers to Hellpods. Repeat, Helldivers to Hellpods. So if we don't have anyone who's going to join, then uh, we can just open it up to the public. Carry a player through. Fine with this. Alternatively, we could drop on someone else, although we're in the middle of a campaign. Alright, not seeing anyone offering, so we're going to open it to the public. And uh, start it up. This is a point hold. So we know how to do this. EMS motors. MVP. Um, this is close to where the rock is, so we'll start over here. At least one of the rock. As long as you can play Helldivers 2? I mean, it depends on how much longer Helldivers 2 exists as a game, I suppose. <laughs> do I want to bring the Arc Fairway? And today, and that's a good question. I don't have an answer for you. Sorry, I just let you dogs out. Well, no problem. How dare you have responsibilities? This is a uh, point hold, so I expect to not move much and get shot. Turrets, if you can find a good spot to drop them. I've not been partial to turrets recently. If you're going to bring EMS, then I will bring EATS. I've not been partial to turrets recently, um, at least for these. And the reason for that is that turrets struggle to survive any amount of time. Uh, you don't get to call them, like, they're, they're fine, but they don't get to live for very long, so it's... You call it in, you tend to die a lot on these. So even support weapons I don't like. The only reason I'm bringing the arc thrower is because I like to jam myself up on top of a rock and then call it in. Yeah. Which is nice, because I can have infinite ammo with an arc thrower, which is just good.
Even something like getting a tack pack up on the top of the rocks is amazing. You just get infinite out. You get in well, not infinite, but a lot of grenades, which is very effective. I didn't even have a chance to control my drop. Yeah, me neither. All right, so there is no rock to stand on over here. It's this one. Alright, so this one really doesn't have rocks to stand on. So I'm gonna go hide around this corner with an arc for. Is it this corner? This corner is fine enough. Is it this corner? This corner is not really fine enough. It's gonna have to be fine enough, I think. I forget which corner it is. It's one of these corners. Oh, hey, Coley, welcome in. I think it is there, yeah. Yeah, because you got some ice here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is this is the good one to hide behind. Right here, I'm gonna get an arc thrower on the field so I can get some. Uh, I can get some stuns going, and I will hold this line. And I need you all to do as much DPS as possible. My job: nothing gets around this corner without uh, standing still for, next for a substantial amount of time. Get you going. Oh, we are going to need to be pay attention to the other side behind us there. That's that's where the main trouble is going to come from. Uh, things come this way often, and it's easily handleable. Easily handleable. Oh, hello. Beautiful sentry placement, by the way. Thank you. Welcome in, Coley. We're on Discord if you'd like to join us. Welcome to the point hold where no one dies. This needs to stop. Do I dare throw an evil airstrike up there? Uh, I do. Just make sure you throw it in the right spot. Yep. Kind of surprised nothing's coming from the other side. You guys pay attention to the other Here, side because things are I about to. I'm, I'm okay. Sure. I'm the other side right now. When things come from that side is where we got a problem because there's there's pathing blocks here that means I can stagger them indefinitely. But the other side's a problem because there's nothing over there stopping it. That's significant at least. All right, here comes a Hulk. Backside heavies. Oh boy. Let's get out of this over here. Uh, there is an out of bounds. There it is. Uh, 12 kills, little danger close. Down. Which is the way to do this mission. It is close to optimal. Uh, I will say the the arc thrower is a new addition, but generally being in this location is close to optimal. As we've had zero deaths and a lot of kills. Ninety-one percent. Yep. This is the hold the line. You notice everything that comes over here gets stunned. There we go. Zero deaths so far. Now we just clear out. Here comes a Flammenwerfer. Oh, well, that's it's the worst one. It's a rocket launcher one. It takes out the numbers advantage. Yes, yes, it does. And conveniently, a uh, Pelican one is loitering, just because of the location he decided to drop down. 
which gives us some extra. Oh no, not like this. Almost got blasted. Thank you. Okay. Would you have used a hologram decoy? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't really answer to that question. They really do. Like, there's a lot. We have between smoke and general other noisemakers, like even bullets. I don't find myself yearning. For, sorry, I walked right in front of you, didn't I? I don't find myself yearning for decoy, but. Ow! Shot myself. Uh, it, it is an interesting idea. Alright, I can't use the arc thrower here without getting friendly fire, so we're gonna not do that. Alright, let's do this. It's been a while since we've had a deathless one of these. Render your booster ineffective. Yeah. The best kind of effective. Clean. Yeah, Shark, always trying to hold the middle on a point hold like that is just death. Yeah, yeah, this is not, this is not bugs. You, if you get surrounded, you die. And, uh, clean, very clean. Yeah, on, um, on bots, positioning is important. On bugs, you generally want to be in the middle and have as much space between them and you as possible. Open space, especially. On bots, that, that's the worst case scenario. You want to be enclosed, you want to be in a trench, you want to have one direction to shoot, and never surround it. So never in the middle. I just scared my dog. Apparently they don't like my flies water. Oh no. Alright, it looks like we got a coli. Is that a coli, I see? It is. Hooray! Oh, welcome in. Level 49, almost hit that level 50. Almost there. And right when they released the thing that made the level cap 150. I know, I'm so excited. I'm like halfway there already. Tactics is king. On bots, yes, very yes. That's why I keep saying, like, bots are easier than bugs. You just have to... Oh my god, what are we looking at here? Whoa. Oh, I won't. Oh. There's, there's no path. Did, did, did you notice that our little gauge was getting a little bit bigger on our side? It was. It certainly was. Is that all water? This yes, all it's on. And this is ice water, so you can't cross it. So we have like exactly one path. Oh, this is going to be miserable. And what if we, what the, if we that means the whole right map here. covered in enemies. There is not a single area that's not correct. Um, so I'm like here, and then try to have two people go north. Uh, that's the chance. That's that's risking it, dude. I, feel like we should drop here. I think we drop here because it's likely the position where we can have any amount of freedom, and then we just clear out the peninsula and just border war this way across. Because I don't see another way of doing this. Other than hot dropping on danger. Yes. And it's... I mean, hot dropping on danger probably isn't the worst case scenario, but I would rather not. Um, I'm going to try running Railgun again, uh, which is a decision for sure. Uh, but I'm going to try it again, which means I'm going to swap to the Scorch. I love the Scorch. It's my favorite gun. It is my favorite gun. So I'm liking the dom. I like the Dominator a lot, especially with the buffs. It just feels. It already felt good, but now it feels better. Uh, remember, this is a 40-minute mission, so heavy armor at your own peril. But just be aware. You know, I do actually like heavy armor now. Well, I mean, let me rephrase. It feels. It feels better. It's not my playstyle, but it feels much better. Didn't they rework it, it or something? Yeah, they added extra damage resistance per damage resistance so heavier armor is, is more survivable than it ever was before like disproportionately so compared to the lighter armors i honestly um am personally just a big fan of the stuff that gives you like the stims and uh, all the medic armors oh sweet jesus yeah. yes the medic just light armor 
increases so good. vulnerability so much. It really does. It really does. That that is that is explicitly why the ammo backpack is my favorite backpack because it comes it comes with an extra eight stems. Oh wait, it gives you stems? Yes. Gives you That's, stems. Oh. It, it gives you stems it's and grenades. It's actually really good then. I thought it would just give you like ammo or something. No, yeah, it's a full resupply. Here we go. All right, are we actually cleared? Oh, hey, oh. super samples. Oh, convenient. Uh, I'll, ca I'll carry them. There is an eyeball looking at us, by the way. So just keep that in mind. Uh, does that do anything? Uh, yes, yes, yes. It does do something. It do does a lot. a lot of some things. It's really, really unpleasant, and comes highly recommended that you don't let it see you. Is that? No, what that's the, the primary objective. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just chucked my uh, auto cannon into the ice. Uh, and now it won't resolve. Oh, they just give it just give it a few seconds. It'll figure itself out. So apparently you can't summon things on this blue ice here. Yeah, no, it doesn't let you do that. So are we planning All right. on doing everything in this mission? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately that Eye of Sauron's on the wrong side of history. Oh, no, it is on this side of history. All right, so uh, let's just split two and two. Um, I'll go south toward primaries and work on those. You two head north, clear out the rest of the peninsula. We do have bots approaching. It looks like those are the, those are the farm bots. We could probably ignore them. Just be aware that there's going to be mess. Yeah, those are definitely farm bots. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, um, you have fun with that. I'm going to clear. Oh, you got it. And we're flared. All right, so that's going to be... That's a lot of bots. Where's the thing? All right, so in that case, I'm going to go north and help out with the uh, IR Sauron. Just leave this uh, bot drop alone for a moment. Let it, let yeah, it, I'm running away. Let it cool down. Cool its rear end. Basically careful resupply drop any back? Yes. It also means whenever I need to resupply, I don't have to call down the team resupply, I can call down my own. You are your own. I am my own. Which is very nice. Like really nice. Like thinking about the uh, the decoy hologram hologram decoy. I like the idea of it. I would use it a lot like I would use smoke. Except I don't find myself using smoke because it's just unnecessary like sure there's an occasional instance where it'd be useful but the the opportunity cost is being unable to do this which is you know unfortunate Y'all need samples. I'm not afraid to capture samples anymore. It looks like there may actually be a land bridge to the north here. Oh, this is not good for me. Yeah, we can do it. You look like you're having a ton of fun over there. Alright, so this is a whole rave of activity. Alright, reinforcing you over here, and then, uh,. Heading south. Looks like we got some extra fun. Yeah, shark. We dropped on the we dropped on the spire. Yeah, we dropped. We our point of insertion was a super sample location, which is you know cool. I'm gonna do it. Speaking of, I'm gonna go grab it real quick. I dropped it. Wait a minute. In that case, I'm heading south. Very lucky indeed. All right, this dude's gonna cause a problem. Rock'em, sock'em, robots. That automaton outpost is still to your uh, west there. Beautifully placed. 
Oh, we didn't start full. Oh my god, you're right. Have the perk for post game grab ammo boost. Oh. Well, that's gonna be annoying later. Have a taste of democracy. Ow. Take the, yeah, you're right. There is a land bridge north, so I'm gonna go that way. I got the terminal. Go for it. That is super convenient, by the way. Terminal. We already have smoke in the game. It's a different kind of smoke. We we do actually have no. We do actually have multiple smoke stratagems, like proper concealment smoke stratagems. And they're good at what they do, and what they do is not in my interests. We're too close. Because uh, we're jammed on eagles. C4. Oh, is there a jammer? Yeah, uh, the uh, anti air nest. Northwest. We got more. Oh, they're dropping back there. west for this. Alright, um, Wait, actually, A2, to... can you grab this and head to the north where it's already cleared? And uh, go deposit it across the map. It's gonna be a bit of a run, but we gotta make it at some point. There's a proper strategy splits it. There's I hesitate to claim any make any claims of proper strategy because well two reasons. One, uh, I'm not that knowledgeable. As much as I tend to have an extremely high win rate and could probably do some tutoring kind of stuff. I, I regularly do some tutoring kind of stuff. The claim that proper strategy is a bit too high. Because it's just the game is not solved. So it's don't it just I, depends I, on what you want to do. Yeah, it really depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, second, um, the game is constantly changing, like rapidly, on like almost a like a multiple times a week kind of basis. So it's kind of hard to say proper strategy because by the time I say proper strategy, uh, everything can change. Uh, but I do find two and two to be an extremely effective strategy. It works pretty yeah, well for even up to medium skill players and, and high skill players. Yeah, the nice thing is if you get caught out and you die, you can still be reinforced by someone. Exactly. Skill dependent. There, was, there yep. was a point when that the, the guy made that Reddit post about patrols and how if you're more than 75 meters away, it increases the timers. Yes. Or decreases the amount of time between patrols and so people are getting kicked for running solo but eh. that's that's just because people are bad at reading um, yes it does it doesn't decrease the amount of time between patrols it decreases the amount of patrols that's, it, it increases the amount of patrols that spawn because it now fills multiple spawn timers exactly. so, so while that is true um, it also spreads them out across multiple locations so you, you'll Due to the spawn cap, at least in the higher levels, uh, you end up always facing fewer creatures by spreading out than as opposed to uh, not spreading out. Probably one of three is that the one dies well. Yeah, and you'll find that especially with uh, with the higher skill teams that the up the players tend to split up more just because they can and they can get away with it. But it's not always the case you can get away with it. If you can't get away with it, then there's no benefit to splitting up. So, interesting side note. Blizzard started. I had a uh, machine gun raider shooting at me from 35 meters. Stop. He lost track of me. That's interesting. And he just went back to idle. And then uh, C4 and I just shot him. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty... Pretty hefty uh, aggro range reduction. Am I flared? I am flared. Oh, that's an inconvenient dropship place. No, oh, did it? Oh. It's it started in it. You're in. All right. There's radar for everyone. All the POIs, as expected, are in that center for the Beautiful. Lord. You know, at least they're uh, hard to miss. Yeah. Easy for looting. Yeah, do you want backup on this, or do you, are you good? Uh, I probably right. can't solo it, if I'm being right. honest. I'm with you. Since it's a power generator, so... That's true. 
How has stability been? Uh, I've crashed once tonight. Uh, yeah, just once, actually. We did have some internet connectivity issues, which caused some uh, problems in game, but that was literally my own internet causing a problem. So nothing in game. That was beautifully placed. Uh, do I want to pillage this? Kind of, sort of do. All right. Okay, I think. Is he clear? If there's nothing left. I'll probably be fine now. Yeah, grenade. How the new uh, uh, automatons? Uh, I love them. The ATAT -AT Walker is like a raid boss. Uh, it's got a health bar that defies God. Yeah, we haven't seen one. Are those in the we game? We haven't seen one. They are in the game. I've encountered oh, wow. them like three or four times today, just not on stream. <laughs> not even once on it's, stream. It's a it's a combination tank and dropship. Yes. I saw one clip of them, and that is it. It was a, it was like a clip of a dude landing on it. That was all I got to see. <laughs> yeah, it's I, they're I quite fun. I saw a clip where they were doing the scientist extraction, not the crazy crazy one, but like the regular one, I don't know what you mm -hmm. call it. With, like, and, the map. Uh, they had to laser it twice, plus a couple of AT rounds. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. Apparently, a, I mean, because of the video I saw, a great way to defeat it is just land on top of it and then like call down stratums on it and it'll just die real quick. Oh, like you're riding it for a bit? Because mm -hmm. you apparently you can just throw stratums right on there, they don't like bounce off. That uh, does not surprise me. It's on you guys, not on us. Uh, it's not yep, on it's me. On you. It's on me too. Yeah, I got a box drop on me. All right, we're making our way to you, but we're gonna hit up all the POIs along the way, I suppose. I currently got a way before the box drop out. Okay. I'm certainly trapped in this little end of the map. Did you see that? Yeah, he just took him out immediately. <laughs> well, he also flew up 40 meters in the air. Oh, yeah, wait, he's still, oh, and there you he's go. He's still he up down. there, and then he fell. What would you say are the uh, main change of the switch from fighting Terminus to automatons? Well, I started fighting automatons because I like it. I, I very quickly learned that I preferred fighting automatons than I do bugs, because bugs, bugs just apply a lot of pressure. They're an unthinking swarm that charges at you with reckless abandon. Um, the automatons, on the other hand, uh, they don't really apply much pressure, so they're a lot easier, but they also punish you hilariously hard for your mistakes. So it's really not a loadout thing. Yeah, sure, there are different loadouts that help you, but are hardly a, hardly a use-this-gun-to-win kind of deal. With automatons, you have to know when to fight, when not to fight. The biggest change is really knowing to shoot the... Um, the weak spots because with automatons everything like I, I could take this sidearm here and just dust this down i could literally take my primary weapon and kill this tank right now i don't want to because if, in doing so it's going to call to its friends right there and they don't have to deal with that and that's just that's just a whole it is bad it gets real bad real quick but just knowing to when to take fights when not to take fights when to do things like let's see here i'm just strolling through strolling through these missions literally drinking playing almost one-handed this is a hell dive level nine automaton mission this is this is as strong as this is as hard as it gets and we're just strolling through it like a leisurely walk what the hell there's a hulk that's engaged from 150 meters and will not die Please. and they call the bot drop and that's neat all right, well, we're leaving that alone. Yeah, it's just a matter of knowing what to do when to do it. Uh, but yeah, loadout changes, um, more DMR-type weapons. The bots punish missing your shots. They they punish imprecision. Um, <clears throat> broken the meta? Nah, I'm not doing anything really off the meta here. But yeah. The automatons, design-wise, punish imprecision. Uh, so if you I would also say things like the quasar I would use against bots any day of the week. I really wouldn't use the quasar against bots, uh, bugs. Uh, I would use the quasar versus bugs. I, I think the, the quasar the, uh... really shines against the bugs because it's yeah. cool really? down and it just one-shots chargers and two-shots Yeah, that's because the thing about bugs is you can't stand still for the three seconds needed to reload. With the quasar, 
you don't have to stand still ever to reload. So you In just quick opinion, shoot. Um, I think they need to buff the uh, heavy machine gun hard because that thing sucks against everything. It. And they just well, I don't want to say they nerfed it, but they altered it. It shoots slower now. At the it, maximum rate. Of fire. At the maximum rate, which to be fair was always a mistake to try to use to begin with. Uh, here, you I'll give you guys these samples, I mean, and I'll go pillage the center. Yes, but shooting 1,200 oh. bullets per minute Did you guys check the fun. northern spot right up here? No. no. Alright, uh... We also didn't it... get into the south because we got pushed away by a bot drop. Alright, then I'll go check out the south. Uh, if we have one person go north... I got it. Alright, that's fine. The primary objective completing. Sweet. Yeah, it's the the big change from uh, automaton toward automatons is learning the uh, learning the uh, tactics around it. Oh, I'm dead. That's really about it. Nah, you'll be fine. Get some. Get some. Also, there's a two-person gate somewhere down here. Okay. All right, so there's no samples here. This is just a, a hell bomb, looks like. I check over here and pillage this location. Uh oh, someone shot down a uh, bot drop here. What? There were two of them on top of each other. So all the creatures survived the bot drop crash, but what is that? Just, okay, I've never seen that. I didn't know they just sit there. Yeah, a lot of times they'll sur if they uh, survive the bot drop, which is almost every time because killing the the dropship doesn't actually kill the things inside of it. It should do something. I hate that it doesn't. It's clearly not working as intended. But oh, when finish the primary. <laughs> when that instance okay. happens, it's uh when that instance happens, it usually breaks their pathing. Observe the devastators in the night for that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh C4, there's a patrol meandering your way. Yeah, I don't want to be over here them. anymore. I've, I've tagged it. I'm like 90% sure I just got spotted through a, walk, a rock there. It's possible. Hey, the ballistic shield is buffed. I assume it still doesn't help against robot explosives. No, nope, doesn't help against explosives. Uh, it was, I'm going to describe it as fixed rather than buffed. Uh, there's a high chance of death for me here. It happens. Death comes for us all. Uh, like this guy, for example. If you don't shoot him, then he doesn't alert his friends. Which are Ooh. right around the corner, and then we can leave. And so I was gonna say, just punch him instead. It would have been a wonderful behavior change. Um, nothing about where we are is okay. This is Vandal on Four is just such a rough place to deal with. The bots. Wide open maps. Oh, I am in such a bad spot. It's doing stuff like that. That way I can clear the heavy dudes and all the infantry simultaneously. It makes a huge difference, because then you don't get bot dropped. Here samples. Alright, you should be safe here. In the center of the map, those are patrols. Uh, yeah, probably. Alright, go prone. You can pick it up for easier. There you go. I cannot believe I didn't get that second patrol aggroed. It's amazing. Surprise! Alright, uh, you guys head toward Extract. I'm going to cleanse the last of this uh, automaton filth. I think it's only like three left. I got a laser if you want me to just throw it in there. Uh, that's what I was going to do. Just got home from school. Hello there, Luminati. Yeah. Welcome in. Uh, that's the that's, that's, uh, whole heap load of unpleasantry over here. Do I start it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and start it. Uh, you're gonna want to try to stealth it, but obviously that's that's probably not gonna last very long. Why would you change red to beam weapons, scythe dagger, cannon to improve them or specialize? Uh, I don't know, man. The laser actually feels like it's in a an okay place. It's the uh, the dagger that's just missing DPS in general. Um, the scythe is an amazing weapon. It's not a beam weapon. I mean, I'm sorry. No, the, uh, I'm thinking of the... 
other one. The scythe. It just feels like they need a little bit more DPS. Like, they're just not good on the DPS side of things. The only exception being... The, uh... Only exception being the, um... The laser cannon. Oh, you cheating little rocket devastator pre-firing me. The sickle, the sickle is amazing. Yeah, the sickle is, like, S-tier. It's not my favorite style of weapon. I prefer DMR styles, but I've never sighed about having a sickle in my hands. Seth is pretty terrible. It is pretty mediocre, yeah. Is that the pistol? Uh, the scythe is the uh, laser beam rifle. Um, it works pretty well against bugs, because it does a whole lot of uh, limb damage. It does actually have reasonable DPS overall, so if you can hit unarmored things... Uh, it's got like no armor penetration. So you hit unarmored things, it does it does pretty well. But outside of that, it's 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 bad. Which, solves, which creates a problem, because you kinda need anti armor damage. Dagger's worst version of the scythe. It is by far the weakest sidearm. Like it's it's got something like ten percent of the DPS of the other sidearms, and that's not that's not a joke. Like you math it out, it is ridiculously underperformance. It's just not in a good state. And with super samples. Yeah, we didn't do a whole lot of we didn't do a whole lot of clearing, a whole lot of pillaging, but it was pretty clean. None of super credits. Well, no, we did. We cleared all the POIs, but we didn't clear out any of the objectives. Because most of the uh, common and rare samples radar, are at the objectives. We got objectives. we got detector. No, I, I mean, we, we didn't we didn't clear out. We didn't actually pillage them for the, for the samples. Because all the um, the samples are generally at the outposts and the uh, secondaries. So you got to go through those and just comb them clean. So we missed, like, most of the samples, but I didn't really care to do that right now. Outstanding patriotism. Beautiful. Another campaign completed. What is so much run? XP. Shield generator, asks Amen. Yeah, uh, not dying. Uh, the shield, like the personal shield generator? I would assume. Um, oh shoot, we liberated it. We did? No, uh, defense missions always say that. Um, yeah, no, we didn't liberate it yet, no. Um... <clears throat> Because it saves you, the real reason is because it saves you from one shots, uh, which are less of a thing now. Um, prior yeah, to this last patch, yeah, they fixed it. Oh, uh, fixed it. I re rebalanced it. Um, and prior to this patch, all missile weapons one shot you, like the explosives. So you'd be walking around and you would just get one shot from anywhere. Uh, you could be being shot from 150 meters away, no warning, just die. You'd be shot from below the floor. That happened like multiple times last stream. Um, you just die for reasons outside of your control. And the energy shield would protect you from that personal energy shield. So that's, um, most people would run it for that reason alone, just because it's not fun to die for reasons outside of your control. Um, now that it's been readjusted so that unless you're wearing light armor, you will generally survive, um, the energy shield is no longer a must have at all points in time. So you'll see a lot of people not running Energy Shield anymore, but it's going to take a little while for people to get comfortable not running it, now that it's not necessary, especially given the, the boosts to the heavy armors. Which I, which I appreciate, but yes. no, I still like running more. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like my, my playstyle involves moving around, but it's not necessarily the strongest playstyle. Yeah, dude, people are dropping off. Oh no. 99.2 uh, But, Estan, you just finished So People may come on over uh, We haven't had more people come on over yet I still need uh, a couple of kills with a stalwart It's hard to do that in tier 9 uh, A little bit It's kind of hard to justify it But actually, levels bring- oh, nothing Levels aren't tied to progression or anything So you don't have to worry about levels It's just, it's just um, Except till level 20 yeah, I think technically 20, 25, 25 for the mech. 
Um, you get to flex and say you're level 109. Yeah. Exactly. I get to flex and say I'm level 109. Every time I quick play, yeah. and people are like, Oh my god, level 109! Which is fun for a little while. Levels of bragging rights? Yeah, bragging rights. Just to say, oh, how, look how much I have no life to this game. Which I think is perfect, and I'm, I wish it was literally uncapped, so you could just keep going forever. Uh, doesn't, you don't even have to have titles beyond, behind. Uh, don't even give me titles, like, I just don't to, care. Uh, prestige, you get like a little star next to your name. <laughs> you know, I always say... Had mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, just, just, the closer you go to Deep Rock Galactic, the better. And that's what Deep Rock Galactic does. Just, you get exactly. a couple stars, and after a while you run into stars to get, you just keep leveling up. Like, as it. The way I describe this game is basically just Deep Rock Galactic in space. It, Although that's Deep Rock I was, I was about to say, that's just Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> well, well think, think about it. When you're uh, bug protected, it's the, bo it's the bugs coming up. They're being chased there by the dwarves who are underground. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did we get by the creek? Uh, yeah, the creek has been ours for several days now. Uh, it's... The major order completes in two and a half hours, so we've successfully completed it because it cannot be uncompleted at this point in time. Let's see, drop nears over here. Yeah, it cannot be uncompleted at this time. Uh, it's just a matter of not losing Vandal on four because that's going to back cap us so hard to kill whatever progress we thought we had. So I'm really hoping that we that we managed to defend this one, but it's... it's... Uh, but it's not just private, it's super private. Yes, yeah, super private. I'm excited for super private. I'm probably never going to change it. Yeah. Do we see the rank names? You find it weird you're going back down the private if you're getting major? It goes all the way up to like general. You go yeah, up to like yeah, super so general and roll, then super star, private. Roll. Like, yeah. I mean, if you buy the super citizen edition, you become a citizen, so I don't know if they're going. Yeah. The scaling's <laughs> weird. It's. it's... I did my part. Did my part, yes. Uh, Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, it is getting pretty late on my end, so I'm going to be winding it down. It's been a good stream. I look forward to uh, doing some more. Uh, but for now, it's going to be it for me, so I'm going to be signing out here. Say so, thank you guys all. I hope you guys enjoy. I got more content like this coming out every single week, multiple times a week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, so you don't miss it. Remember, the best place to get involved is in the community Discord. You can use the link in the description below. Where we do all of our notifications for all of our content, if you so desire. And as always, I'm lurking and usually chatting every so often. But for now, have a good night, everyone. I'll see you guys later. We will cleanse this galaxy.